There we go. Hey, guys. Hi, everyone. Let's see Hi, Penny. The... Hey, Penny. Hey, Kim and Kathy and Glennis and Angela. If you're still there, Angela was early. Holy Toledo. She was. Oh, my life's not bad at all tonight. No, mine wasn't either. About 15. No. Hey, Jody. <sighs> Hi, Jody. <laughs> So what's everybody been up to? Anybody we haven't seen since Christmas? How was Christmas? How much snow you got? Hey, Beth. Hi, Beth. Ours is all gone. Oh, all the snow? Yeah, because, oh, my gosh, it poured. Uh, <laughs> you what, got a oh, it Christmas Day all yep. day long. It was, like, pouring. Yep, yep. Hi, Sherry. Hey, Sherry. And um, so it it all, and it was 62 degrees. So it oh, just so all. Weird. Look at them all coming in. There's Dawn and Lucy and Lori Lori. and Janine. Nice. Jean, Kathy. I've been worried about you guys. Hey, Jean. Hey, Deb. Hi, Deb. There's Hi, Michelle Deb. Rowe. And Sheila. Mm -hmm. Sheila and Beth. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and Beth Andrews, both Beth. And Lisa. And Lisa and Louise. And Louise. We're just going to play Jinx all night, you guys. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind uh, of a silly game we play, kind of intentionally. <laughs> yeah. Just in case we, you hadn't all caught on to that. We try to see who interrupts who more. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. And I have fresh coffee, so, you know, I'm drinking it. Hey, Pearl. Hey, Pearl. There's and Melanie. Melanie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice, Jody. I love that you guys really saved them for Christmas. Right. Hi, Eileen. Hey, Eileen. Hey, Sandy. Michelle H. And Michelle H. Very cool. So you're all saying hello. Nobody's in. Hey, there's Tina. Hi, Tina. So. What did you guys, did, it, did everybody get what they wanted for Christmas? Was everybody's like wish list fulfilled? And Tammy. There's yeah, Tammy. I got what I wanted. <laughs> they listened to me. Did they hate Shona? No. Thanks, Mags. I was just reaching for it. <laughs> oh, Beth got a new Keurig. Ooh, nice. Oh, wait, I'm getting, yeah, she did. Nice. Oh, she's getting a new kitchen. Can't even find her Keurig. Uh-oh. Nice. I got exactly what I wanted. I bought my own. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that's what we do now. He buys what he wants. I buy what I want. We get, we're both like totally happy that way. I tell him it's cheating, though, because his birthday is like right away again in January. It's in that first week. So I'm like, dang. Hey, Veronica. Hi, Veronica. Hi, Tammy. Exactly, Sandy. So, let's see. Oh, Beth got a big shot. Nice. Yay, how exciting. Kathy got a new phone. Nice. Hey, Kathy. Hi, Becky. Hey, Becky. <laughs> there you go, Michelle. <laughs> Oh, my gosh. Hi, Christine. Yep. That, yeah, exactly. Just buy what you want through the year when you need it. Yep. yep. Hey, Christine. Hey, Dear B. Hi, Dear B. You guys are awesome. So who's got snow? Let's get that out of our system. Who's got snow? Because I, I don't. I have no snow. <clears throat> and a really nice box of lace. I know, right, Beth? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Hi, Jennifer Jane. Hey, Jennifer. It's raining where Chona is. I think I want to say California, but I'm not positive. Ah, uh, I don't think so. I can't remember. Can't remember. I did, Christine. Yep, we got it figured out now. Yep, -er. 
was it was it what I suggested? I just want to know because if it is, then I'll know for um, other international people. Is that what it was? Let's see. <laughs> new cereal box <laughs> that doesn't overflow. She didn't know it was oh a my gosh, that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh. Yeah, see, I'm not so fond of the ice, Veronica. That's no fun. No. Hey, Lorna. Hi, Lorna. Mm, Tina's getting ready to have snow in Iowa. Yeah. I'm sure Lorna has snow. Ah, so you have to select the U.S. Gotcha. Gotcha. That makes sense. Yeah, it's hard to ha it's hard because like when you guys have trouble with it, I only have a couple people that invoice me through the square and they're not international, so I'm not always sure what it is. I may have to have Louise send me a few Louise has square. I may have to have her send me some so I can just see what you guys see. Rainy and foggy where Becky is. Yuck. It's the wrong time of year for rain. I don't like rain in the winter. I know. Just turns into that bone chilling, can't ever get warm situation. Right, Beth? Oh. So let's see here. <laughs> I knew you were <laughs> going to go there. I knew it. Hi, Sheila. Oh, my God. <clears throat> Let's see. Jennifer Jane had snow on the first day of winter. Oh, nice. She enjoys it. Cool. Mm -hmm. Awesome. And Melanie, that describes Alabama, Patty. Oh, yeah. Rain in the winter. Yeah. Hey, Kathy. Hey, hey Kathy. <laughs> Hey, Paula. Hi, <laughs> We're Paula. trying to race each other to say hi first. Yeah. <laughs> Which is creating a little bit. Right. Of it's just, we think it's funny. <laughs> I should let you say it and then just say ditto. Ditto. <laughs> <laughs> but what if I decide to wait and let you say it first? I don't know. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> hey, Renee. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> and we can't even see each other, so... <laughs> Oh my! God. <clears throat> yeah, it's just us being ridiculous, like you yeah. know, two, two ten-year-olds. Just yeah. you know, obviously we haven't spent enough time together. Everything is hilarious, mm -hmm. you know, silliness. Yeah, we've both been busy this past week, so we haven't hardly spent much time together. Nope. Trying to make up for it, right? <laughs> <laughs> so let's see. Oh, that was weird. I just had a random, like one of those great big stretches. Like when you yawn real big and you stretch real big, it was one of those giant yeah. stretches without the yawn. That was weird. Anywho. So, um, where do you guys kind of want to start tonight? I thought maybe it we would look like, so interesting. I thought maybe we would sell a job or, you know, that kind of thing. Hey, Christina. Hi, Christina. Yeah, I'm pretty excited. All of these, um, I've been working on all these on my little hiatus. Um, and and there's music. The only thing I didn't put on the table was music. I've got a whole bunch of music books right over there on the floor. Not like last time music books, but they're music. So let's see. Let's see, shall we? Let's Let's work our way down to... Let's, let's, let's. Can you figure out what the mystery items are yet? They're the first ones off the table. Hey, Glennis, I don't know if I said hi to you. I feel like I did, but now I don't remember. Um, I'm really excited. About, this is cool. I kind of gave you guys a sneak peek of that a while ago because I have two of them. Hey, Glennis and Angela, you're back. They were oh, Angela. 
long before we started, but I yeah, she was. She was the early bird, right? Early, <laughs> early bird. So I want to start with these because these are killing me. Those wall. It says wallpapers. Yes, ma'am. Whoa. So first decision to be made. This is book number one. This is book number two. This is book number two. Before I even show them to you, do you guys want me to hold back one book number two and take it apart? That way we can spread this one around. And that then would be a good idea. I think so too. Or, or we can do all three of them as an offer up. Um, and you would get your choice of one, two, or three. You Lorna, I knew, Lorna. I knew she was going to say that. <laughs> so we're going to start the night off with a vote. You guys decide. <clears throat> All three as a whole or take one apart. All right. Let me put that in there. Hi, Gigi. Hey, Gigi. How are you? Oh, three flat price. <laughs> Glennis, four. if I don't get one, then yes. That a girl. That's daddy logic right there. I can't answer that until I know if I got take one, or one not. apart, take one apart, take one apart, save one back and take apart, take apart. So okay. I would say yep. take one of those. That apart. was my first instinct, but <clears throat> I just thought I wanted, just wanted to double check. Okay. Yeah, they're so, all saying that. Okay, cool. So book number one. Oh, and I want need my ruler so I can measure it for you guys. So... This is eight and a half inches wide and 11 inches tall. And I'm going to say like right at a quarter of an inch, three eighths of an inch thick. Um, so here's the front. Here's the back. And then here are your papers. Ooh. And each one has the little price tag and all the per yard or per roll information. And I'm going to say these aren't, these aren't, I wouldn't qualify them as brittle yet, but I would put them on the, especially around the edges, the fragile side, because these aren't made out of wallpaper like we're used to. You know what I mean? It's a completely different kind of paper. There's this one. Oh, those are pretty. Look Aren't they the pretty? Colors. Yeah. I love the colors in them. And you can feel the paint. Like they they're very they have a very hand painted. There's that one. And this one is super textured. I don't think you guys can see it, but a lot of these, when I say they're there, now you can see it. Wow. See the texture. Oh, especially over in the in the shadow, you can see. Yep. It. There's that one. There's this one, which is all lavenders. Oh, it even looks lavender. There's this one. There's that one. This one has a bunch of metallic in it in the background. There it is. See it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's. I like that. The, look at the. Can you see the color? Bl yep, you can. The color yep. blocking in it. So pretty. Oh, Lori singing to Lorna trying to put her to sleep. <laughs> there you go. Get her. There's this one. Yeah, I love those colors. Yeah. And I mean, they really do. I don't think the camera is going <laughs> to pick up the hand paintedness of them. Oh, maybe. But see, they're just so pretty. Yep. This one and this one is metallic again. Like, look at those stripes in it. Oh, this one you can really see the hand painted. Like, there it is. Yeah, that's nice. It, I just think it's nice that they're they are hand painted. There's that one. Hi, Leslie. Hey, Leslie. There's this one. Oh, 
Oh, that one's got the metallic in it too. There it is. And this one is super easy because they're dated right on the front instead of having to go hunt for it. Look at that. Oh, well, that's retro, huh? Yeah, talk about your kitsch. This would be perfect, like, with flower sacks and stuff. This one has a little bit of metallic, not a lot, just, just here and there. Just that one. And then this one, the big leaves would have all been metallic. Beth wants to know, what are those little papers at the top? Um, they're the information, like the... Um, so that, like if you were going to order it, which role it is, like this one is number 73 and it's called the Holly Bedroom. The cool green tone of Holly Bedroom is just, just the needed type of coloring for a room with Southern exposure and the colors are non-fading band border to match. So there must've been a border book that went with it. If your rooms need fresh refinishing, the following materials carried by us are suggested. Um, you would want to paint your woodwork in orchid enamel. You would want to do your floors in a light oak varnish stain. And you would want to do your ceiling in a cream flat paint or, I don't know, K-A-L-S-O-M-I-N-E. Calcimine? Calcimine? Something. Calcimine, probably. <clears throat> and it was 21 cents per single roll. And the border by the yard was four cents. Wow. And this one is 16 and a half cents per single roll. I want to know how you pay half a cent. Even back then. Ooh, look at that one. Oh, that's nice. You guys see that little bit? Nope, you can't. Hold on. <clears throat> there it is. That I like that metallic. one. The colors are a little more muted. Mm-hmm. It's got just a little bit of a metallic stripe in the background. That's what I'm trying to catch. Yeah, you can, I there can see is. that. There yeah. it is. Okay. And there's this one. This one's weird. This is like the only one I don't really care for. This just looks like I tried jelly printing is what that looks like. Just that one. That one. No, that one's not metallic. This one has the little bitty. Yep, you can kind of catch them. They're metallic. That one. Jim out my garage? Uh, no, somebody's doing dishes. I think he's loading the dishwasher. So Ooh, I'm not. That's gonna, pretty. Yeah, I'm not going to scold him if he's doing no. the dishes. I'll, I'll put up with right? a little. <laughs> I wouldn't either. If it means I don't have to run down and do them when we're done, I'm okay with it. So then this one is book two. So they're going to be similar, but obviously right off the bat, totally different, right? And this one has a ton of metallic in it. Is it going to, there it is. Like this gold is metallic and the silver is metallic. It's funny how that 1932, that that would metallic would be so big like that. I know, right? But it was right after the all the Art Nouveau stuff, so mm. see. And this has got That's like cool. bronze. Yeah, it's like the old gold that we like. Yeah. That. And all of these are textured so far. Can you guys? Yeah, in the shadow. Look in the shadow, and on the back side, you can see all the texture. Look that one. And then there's a ton of metallic in that one, too. This one. Oh, yeah, you can really see it in that one. This one, I don't know. This one, I don't know. I think this one would be cool to wax on the high surfaces. I know, Michelle, I did. I said wax. <laughs> there's the <laughs> At least it didn't say clear gesso, right? Is that one and this one is not textured it looks like it should be but it's not it's oh not. that one's pretty and then different this yep. makes me think of bark cloth like a pattern that you would see woven into the bark cloth Just that one this one again with the metallic 
this one, that one, that one. This one, the this page is messed up. Just so you know, that page is messed up up there. I do like this print though. I wouldn't mind having a whole roll of that. This makes mm -hmm. me think of the Italian uh, Florentine Florentine paper. Mm -hmm. This one, that one. I like that one too. This one looks like upholstery fabric. There's that one. That one. Oh, that's pretty too. Right? And this one. Then we're at the end. Mm -hmm. Are these going to be flat priced? Nope. I'm going to do these as an offer up. Okay. We'll just start right off the bat with it. Um, do A or B? Yep. A or B. And I will, well, we'll do one or two because they're numbered. This is one and this is two. And they're in the order that I showed them. And then I'm going to mute for just one second. Okay. Okay. Let me get my timer. You want to, what do you want to do? Two and a half, three minutes? Um, let's just do two and a half and see how that works. Okay. All right. <coughs> and I'll do a 30 second warning. There you go. It's been a minute. We're going to pretend like we know how to do this again. <laughs> I know. <laughs> supposed to be like sitting on a horse. <laughs> right? <clears throat> you guys are so funny. I don't, the metallics are different. The one, remember that one I got, was it last year? Um, the big, the big one. You the know, really, yep. The big one. Um, the metal, they scan, they just don't scan, but it's interesting. You can see them and you can tell they were meant to be metallic, if that makes sense, but. It doesn't scan as a metallic color. Correct. Yeah. Yep. But it is interesting how it picks up the color. And then as the scanner light goes across, it kind of mm -hmm. changes a little. So you get like almost a color shift in the metallic. <laughs> but I did scan them just, just because I could. Ooh, look at Becky. She's digging in for the pennies. Mm-hmm. All right, so this one I was going to take apart. I'm going to put a note on it so I don't forget. Okay. So that's resolved. Oh my gosh. There's the 30 seconds. Hang on one second, you guys. Okay, sorry, Megs. That's okay. Um, Janine, 
with $41. Janine, did you want one or two or can she get both or is it? Sure, if she wants to. Okay, or both. Christine S., you were right after my stop, as well as Pearl. Oh my goodness, that's going to be much better. I just washed my glasses. Well, I didn't wash them. <laughs> I you did wipe them on. <laughs> yeah, I wiped them on my shirt. It's funny what happens when you get the dust off of them, right? Yes, Janine, you want number one, number two, or both? So weird. The StreamYard chat doesn't even show that yet. <laughs> okay, she wants number one. Got it. Thank you, ma'am. Okay, and then... For 41, you said, right? For 41. Okay, got it. And then it's Becky next. She had 40, 50. So Becky, do you want number two for 41? Okay, Becky's going to pass. Got it. Let's see who was next. Okay. Um, Kathy Short. You were <laughs> next with 40. Would you like number two? Exactly, Lisa. <laughs> exactly. Oh, my gosh. Give it to her, Janine. Give it to her. Let her have it. I might have to go get that wonky rolling okay. pin out. Kathy Short would like that one. Awesome. Thank you, ma'am. Thanks, ladies. Perfect. Okay. So then I think we'll do these next. Some of you have seen these before. These are um, inspiration boards or... I don't know. I call them inspiration boards because I don't know what else to call them. Um, but they have all different kinds of stuff. So they're on a, on a um, chipboard base. And then there's um, four different fabric pieces on here. So like you've got the orange and white gingham. You've got um, a floral up here in the corner. You've got another floral and then another different orange floral over here. And then this is um, an old ad card. We know this is one of the Tim quotes, I guess. This is an old um, cattle tag. This is a tea card. These are book page pockets that I made. And in them, there's a tag. There's an old receipt that I've sewn to um, craft paper. This is just a little notebook with um, different avocado coffee dyed paper from like um, a bird field guide book. Then another little notepad. Nice. Thanks. This is one of the, I think that's seven gypsies mm -hmm. tags. Um, just a die cut, one of the Timmies. I think there's 10 stamps here and they're, um, they're all like different um, scenes. They're all from Yemen. Some are upside down, obviously, but there's, um, how many is that then? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. So there's 13 stamps. This is um, a sticker. This I did 
just like for collaging, just for, um, you've got like ledger bits, just scraps and bits. Some of it is um, stapled in, but then to make sure that it wouldn't get too insanely bulky, I just did tuck some of them in just for nice color. So like that one's attached, this one is not attached. So, and these are just meant, you know, to just tear off and just use them. So you can use every bit of that. Then this is a book page out of like, um, just a mini um, floral book. This is a die cut. This is a die cut. This is a book page um, from an early 1800s book. So it's that cut paper that we all love. This is a cute little envelope. I think it probably had, um, oh, what am I trying to think? You put them in a drawer to make a sash sachet. These were sachets. Um, this is another die cut. So just little die cuts. And then this is an old, um, on a lot of the um, products they would put on the back like coupons. You would save up all these coupons and when you got so many, you would send them in and redeem them. So that's one of those. And then this is um, an envelope that I made. So everything you can lift off of here and use. Oh, and then this big orange thing back here is um, a giant index divider and it goes literally from top to bottom. So it's 12 inches. So you've got a nice orange index card. Hi, so. Shelby. Hey, Shelby. So, yeah, so there's all of that. Um, there's 10 of these. They're the same but different. So, like, this is going to be different. This would be different. These are going to be different. And the add card is different. Otherwise, I'm – oh, and this, this image will be different on the T cards. Do you guys want to do them one at a time or do you want to do them random? Hi, Janet. Hey, Janet. Random. Random. Random, random, Looks random. Looks like random. Okay. Random or A, B, A, B. <coughs> I think random has it, though. I did 10 of them. So that, I mean, you saw the first one, and then here's, <clears throat> here's like two more. So you can, everything is pretty, pretty much the same. Your stamps are going to be a little different. But see how these cards are just slightly different, but everything has the same things. These are slightly different. Okay, now it's a tie, so. Well, then we'll just A, B them. A, B, okay. And, I'll limit it, and I would like to limit them to one per person until we see where we stand with it. Okay. And if we have extras and somebody wants multiples, then they can pick up multiples at the end if there's leftovers. How's that? Okay. Um, yeah, well, um, let me make the A, B tag. Yep. And I'll just A, B each one of them as we go. Yep, you can see that. Okay. And these are going to be 20. Okay. Those are really, really pretty. Thank you. I like wow. doing these. They're fun. Mm-hmm. Okay, takes me a little while. There. takes takes me longer to figure out what all I want to use than it does to put them together. I think. <laughs> okay, those are sold. Oh, and these will probably ship in a regional rate B box, which isn't going to be a problem, I don't think, because um, invoicing will be tomorrow, and it'll be like a, and I'll still do it like I said before. Right. Okay, you I'll said almost everybody in two payments. Go ahead, Megs. I'm sorry. You said one per person, right? Yes. Until we, okay. Um, so Becky will get A and Kathy B he will get B. Okay. Thank you, ladies. Okay. Inspiration. Voice. B. Okay. 
Okay, and those are in. And those are sold. Okay, Cindy Luhu will take, she said she'll take one, so let's give her A. She was the first one. And then Christine, uh, wait a minute now. Yes, Christine S says either, so she'll get B. Okay. Thank you, ladies. Okay. Look at that, isn't that pretty? Yeah, I used up all my boxes. I have to order more, more of the boxes. Oh, I love that image on A. I know, isn't she cute? Mm hmm Okay, those are sold. Both of them said either, so Sheila B will get A. Okay. And Sherry, Vintage Couture, will get B. Nice. Thanks, ladies. Okay, I'm going to move these. Mm. I'll fall on the floor because that would be disastrous. Yes, Becky, you got um, the first one. Okay. Okay, those are sold. Okay, Shelby will get A. Got it. Either or A. Oh, wait a minute. Um, Becky. Okay. Shelby said either or A, and Penny asked for A, so she said either. Is it okay to give her B and let Penny have A? I think so. Shelby, are you okay with that? Oh, Penny said it's fine. I'll take B. Okay, so we'll leave Shelby with A. We'll leave Shelby with A, right. And Penny, Penny. Penny. B. Awesome. Thank you, ladies. Thank you, Penny. That was sweet. Okay. And then this, these are the last two. Okay. Last two. Just waiting for YouTube to catch up here. Okay. Okay, and those are in. Kim would like B. Kim S, is it? Mm-hmm. Okay. And Christine will take A. So okay. those are sold. Perfect. Christina Hill, right? Yes, sorry. That's okay. I was just double checking. It's what I wrote, but then I was like, mm, I better check. Right. Um, all right. So on the heels of those, because they're fresh in your mind, these I was going to do as mystery bags. And I will tell you, they are very 
Some of the things in the boards are in these. There we go. Are you guys okay with them being mysteries or do you want to see in them? And I made the envelopes too, by the way. Those are cool. They were fun. I had been doing these um, <clears throat> like on signs and stuff, like on the backgrounds and then, you know, like washing over them and stuff um, and doing different things with them at market. So I had a bunch of them printed and I was like, what am I going to do with these things? So thanks. Sure, Annie. Mystery. Okay. So these are going to be 12 and $12 each. And there's um, 12 of them. I was going to put a sticker on them, but I'm afraid it's going to peel off in the back and you guys won't be happy with that. So I'm going to, um, I'll just tag them. Janet wants to know, could you show just one? And there are other, others are saying they want to see. Okay. So if you don't want to see, don't look. And Glennis wants to know if there's any without caterpillars. I guess she doesn't care for that. Mm, I don't know if there is or not. You get one of these. And like this one is on um, that nice heavyweight um, watercolor paper. And then I did these. These are book page um, pockets. So it's got pocket here for the stamps and then there's a pocket on this side this is a coin and none of the stamps are attached they're all loose the bag is not so nothing is attached and then I did a tag out of this one all those came out really nice thanks and then there's this pocket which is just like the same contents as was in the pockets in the um, the boxes. I was going to do more of the inspiration boards, and I realized I didn't have enough um, of this of the acetate boxes. So that's where I ended up with these. And then here's the tag. Here's the page from the early 1800s book, and then the sash sachet envelope, and then this is that craft envelope that was down in the left hand corner. So. You'll get all of that in those. How many did you say you had? I have 12 of these. 12, okay. Yeah. And they're $12 each. Yeah. Okay. All right, let me put that in. And Glennis, I think the answer is no. They all have, nope, they all have a caterpillar, every one of them. Sorry. Okay. Are you ready or? Yep. I just have to write them one at a time and put them on. So it'll just take Okay. A yep. Um, Kathy Berg would like one. Oops. Okay. Kathy B, he would like one. Okay. Becky. Okay. Christine S. Okay. Janet N. Okay. Sherry. Okay. Glennis. I'm going to pick the one. Okay, so I'm going to give you the one with the caterpillar up here. That way you can camouflage in better. Okay. Uh, Sheila B. Yes, you can, Christine S. 
She wants to know if she can ask a question. Sure. Okay. Beth Andrews. Hi, Mary. Hey, Mary. How are you? Okay. And Mary would like one. <clears throat> Mary, did you hang on to your box till Christmas or did you open it sooner? Okay. Uh, Renee Jensen would like one. There we go. One more. Um, I don't see another one yet. But Christine okay. S. wants to know, could you send her the insides of the envelope and see if anybody would like just the envelope? Sure. Jennifer Jane said, I would like the envelope. There you go. Perfect. Let me find Christine. That was Christine S. you said, right? Yes, Christine S. Got it. Contents. Okay, Jennifer, there's, Jane, there's one left if you would like it. Otherwise, it will still be available. And Christina said thank you. You're welcome. That was an easy question. She said the bugs creep me out. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Some people are like that. I get it. Yeah. Oh, and Jennifer, Jane would like the last one. She said me. You got it, girl. Both are sold. Thanks, ladies. Oh, Lorna, enjoy the hot turkey. Ooh, yummy. Somebody's going to be in a food coma pretty soon. Yeah. Okay. Now, which way do I want to go? Let's do these. So, these could take a minute. Oh, yes. Um, When I told you guys... I got crazy amount of stamps. I so totally was not kidding. Um, like, who knew? Okay, you girls that, that collect stamps and know about stamps, you're going to be like, well, duh, Patty, duh. I didn't know. I don't collect stamps. I just use them, like, in our stuff, right? These are like 1.2 ounce and I did that to allow for tape and the packaging but anyway you're getting one ounce of stamps there's a few of them on corners like on envelope corners you can see right there but most of them are just the stamp but see like this one right here so this is a this is on an envelope this is this is this whole little cluster right there is all on envelopes and this one, so these are going to weigh in a little bit heavier. I allowed for that because I was not going to count these out. Um, I got to 50 and it weighed nothing. <laughs> so I was like, yeah, no, I'm totally not counting like 300 this many times. I'm just not doing it. So I went by weight. Um, these are a mix of international and um U.S. stamps, just so you know. And there's like such a variety in them. And I started out trying to keep them all face up so we could see them. And then I kind of gave up on that too, as you'll notice. Wow, those are cool. Yeah, but there's old ones, there's new ones. And like I said, they're from all over the place. And look, I mean, they're chubby little things. So... And this is just a washi so that you can get into them easily. And then you can reuse this little pocket if you want to, the little acetate pocket. So there's that, right? So that's, we're going to call these the one ounce ones. And then there are half ounce. So let's look at the difference. Oh. Yeah. So on the scale, just, you know, and I would put them in here. The only thing I added was the washi and I had my little scale up here. So these are like 1.2 ounce and then these are 
half an ounce <laughs> and just look but there's still I counted I got to 50 and I was like okay I'm good <laughs> so there's still more than 50 stamps in each one of these so like probably closer to 80 would be my random guess um and there's only I only did a few <laughs> Hi, Rhonda Lee. So there's that. So these half ounce ones are going to be $5. I did not like separate, separate, but if you, I mean, it's going to be kind of hard to get total duplicates. Does that make sense? And um, if anybody wants like two of any one size, I will try as we're going through tonight to pull randomly through the bin. Oops, I should be up here where you can see it. And try to get you different ones. Most of these are international. Not all of them. But so the half ounce ones are mostly international? They're international and U.S., but there's a lot right. more... Um, cause, and these are all just stamps and it's just the way they came to me. So, mm -hmm. um, so there's that. Okay. You want to do the one ounce first? Well, I was gonna, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we'll do the one ounce first and the one ounce ones are going to be $8. Okay. And these, I have to write stickers for mags. I'm just going to use the little oh. white stickers. But I just wanted you guys to know that there's two different sizes. I didn't want somebody to go, I didn't want somebody to get like two or three of these or something. And then there was smaller ones where you could get other variety also. Just wanted you guys to know what your options are. I'll put it in and then I'll wait until you're ready to. Yep. Okay. I would definitely like one, please. Okay. I need to grab a basket. <clears throat> okay. Hi, Sandra. Hey, Sandra. Okay. Ready when you are. All right. Kathy B, he would like two. Okay. Christina Hill would like two. Okay. Sherry would like one. Okay. Hi, Eileen. Eileen L would like two. Got it. Kalinas would like one. Okay, let me tag these. Okay. <laughs> I think he's playing. <laughs> yeah, he's playing with his friends on his Oculus. Nice. Okay, whenever you're ready. Okay, Sandra N would like one. Sandra Nykirk. Okay. Um, Patricia, who is PDH, she said she hasn't been here in a long time. Um, just remind me the first initial of your last name. I it, I think I know who it is. Okay. Um, she would like, well, she wants one of, one of each, but if you want to just do the one ounce, that's okay. Oh, she wants two of the five, the half ounce. 
Okay. Got it. Okay. Okay. Cindy Lou, who would like one? Okay. Kendall would like two. Hey, Kendall. And hey, Patricia. <laughs> okay. Becky would like one. Okay. Becky. Uh, I said Becky, didn't I? Yep. Beth would like one. Which Beth one? Andrews. Andrews. Okay. I caught myself. Uh, <laughs> Sherry would like another one. Okay. And then Michelle Rowe would like one. Okay. Sandy Garrett would like one. Okay. Uh, let's see. Oh, I always Town Square Studio. Is that um, Pamela? Pamela. She would like one. I had to stop and think. And Patricia's initial is H. Patricia H. I thought so. I thought so. Okay, so we're good at. at um, okay, wait a minute. Now, Cindy. Cindy said she would. Uh, she wanted two of the one and one of the half ounce. Underneath. Okay, we're going to do the half ounce ones in a second. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And there's a ton of the half ounce ones, you guys. There's like I did like seventy of them. Because I figured if we don't use them all now, then they'll just sit on the shelf till people want stamps again. Okay, and that's it for those. So I'll put okay. that available. Yep. So anytime you guys decide you want stamps, just holler and let me know because they're here. And this is a mere drop in the bucket, literally. I've never seen so many stamps in my entire life. It's crazy. And the half ounce is five each, right? You said? Yes. Yep. All right, while you're doing that, I'll put this in. Sure. In the <clears throat> and I think I'll just stick this in here with these. There we go. Yeah, I did 73 of these. Wow. Yeah. Okay, I've got to scroll up. And I've already got the two for Patricia. Okay. So Becky would like three. Okay, hang on one second. Anybody mm -hmm. who gets multiples, Maggie, I'm going to tag them as we go. Okay. So that I can make sure they're not getting... I can give them as much variety as possible that way. Does that make sense? Oh, yeah. Yep. Okay. Okay. So there's one for Patricia. Okay. And these are different. There's her two. Then we'll do this one for Becky and this one for Becky. Oh, this one's got a lot of color in it, too. We'll do that one. Okay. Okay. okay then Sandra N. would like one. Got it. San, Sandy Garrett would like one. Got it. Janet N would like four. Janet, you said? Yes, Janet N. Nord okay. Okay. What is that, that word? There's a pal pal. I can see it in my head. What a stamp collector is called. It's P A L. New Miss New 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 Miss. There's another Majestic. word for it. Yeah, that's what I thought. But there's another word for it too, and it starts with a P. Oh, really? Yeah. P A L. What is it? Something tick. I can't remember because it was written all over this stuff, and I was like, "What the heck?" And I was like, "It has to be something about stamps, right?" So a philatelist. Yes, that. Yes. So are they both the same? That's what I wanted to ask you girls about because I didn't take the time to go look up each one and get an accurate definition. Are they both stamp collectors or is, do they mean like different things in the stamp collecting world? Does that make sense? 
Okay, I got Janet's mags. Okay, Kathy B. He would like two. <clears throat> I know Lisa collects sna stamps, snaps. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Um, Kathy Berg would like one. <coughs> Got it. Shelby would like one. Got it. Sherry would like one. Is that it? Uh, nope. Oh, okay. Oh, so I gave you Sherry, right? Yep. Okay, Sheila B. would like one. Got it. Hi, Eileen. Eileen Lyons would like two. Okay, so we've got that one. Let's look for one that's different. Yep, those are different. Okay, cool. Yep, those. Um, Kendall would like three. Only you, Lorna. <laughs> okay, there's that one and that. I think those two look too much the same. I gotta find one more. Nope. Hold on. Oh, those are all way different. Okay. Okay. And then Christina Hill would like one. Got it. Oh, new uh, new Miss Matisse is a coin collector. Oh, well, shows you yeah. what I know. I know, me too. I because I was, I said it, but I don't collect yeah, either. I rolled no, right with you. I was that. like, yep. yeah, it was like the course. Nope, I don't collect either one. I'm clueless. And Paula would like one. Got it. That make us good on stamps. Okay, and. No, I can't even say it once, Lorna. <laughs> <laughs> the rest are still available. Got it. Thanks, ladies. All right. Let's see if we can make one row out of these. Then I can combine them. Eileen collects money to buy things. <laughs> there you go. Me too. And then I and just said it. those are fun for collage. They are really fun for collage, and I wanted them to be, like, affordable so that you can oh. – go ahead. Um, the half ounce, I didn't see. Pamela would like a colorful one, please. Sure. Just one? Yes. Okay. Absolutely. Easy enough. Let's see here. Colorful. Credit card bills. Oh, this is a colorful one. We'll do that one. Oh, yeah, that's nice. For Pamela. Gotcha. Perfect. Okay, so as long as you guys are here and you like stamps, I need to show you. <laughs> okay, don't think that I've lost my mind, but I did warn you there are so many stamps. And this, I just need some guidance or suggestions. Don't let them leave me, Mags. What? So, there's this entire tub. <laughs> and they're all sorted by country. And oh I don't... What? I, yes. I have no idea what to do with these. I'm not a stamp person. And for... 
Those of you that collect stamps and understand the value that I do not, like these are Bhutan, B-H-U-T-A-N, but look how pretty they are. Those are all stamps and they yes. Yes. put them in per country. Yes. yes. And I, did, you guys know I did not sort these, right? Oh this my gosh. If you have Ireland, I want Ireland. Look, there's Colum Columbia. Hi, Nancy. So here's all Colombian stamps. Like they're just. So, Hi, Lisa Smith. They're so stinking cool. Hey, Lisa. She said she'd take the whole box. Well, I don't have a problem with that either. Um, I just need some. Ideas. Oh, they're calling out. They're all calling out different countries. Okay, so here's the deal. We need to agree on a price because we're not going to go through and figure out prices as we go. Because see, like, and I want to show you some so that you understand. This one has a ton. There's and there's all these other little glassine envelopes in it. I don't think there's too many like this. This one has a glassine in it, but they all have different amounts of stamps in them. So we have to find a price that you can all agree on. Um, and I mean, and I don't need to make a fortune on these. I, I know I got an amazing deal on these. So I do not have to make a fortune on these. Um, these are Holy yeah and they're just all over the place i mean there's literally in countries that i've never heard of which you guys know my geography skills that doesn't surprise you but i'm just saying um is each is each envelope um you know the state yeah. of the uh, country is on yeah. there um most of them if not i can get inside of it and find them like these are us and this is all varied um Let's see what this one is. This one is, um, this is going to be U.S. And like wildlife conservation. And then you've got George Gershwin. And so this is, there. it's everything. Even if they're U.S., they're going to be a little bit unexpected. This one's empty, so we don't need that one. I don't know what 9C is, but that's what it had in it at one time. And see, like this one, it's only got a couple in it. So these that only have a few, we could set aside if somebody doesn't want them. Um, I don't know what country. Wait, do I? Hold on. Manama? Is that, is that a place? Is this in Africa, perhaps? It's got giraffes and hippos. Looks like the safari. How do you spell it? M A N A M A. Manama. I don't know. I've never heard know. of it. I don't know yeah. either. <laughs> Are all those in there animals? Yes. Yeah, I would. I mean, but there's like only like, oh, I say that and then I flip it and no, there's people in here. But there's not very many in this one. There's like 12 in this one. So, I mean, they run the gamut. This one has like five in it, four or five. Manama is the capital and largest city of Bahrain. Oh, okay. So there's that. Oh, that's the Middle East. Yep. Then there's this one. And see, like, I can't just go necessarily by his writing because I can't read all of his writing. These are the Republic of something. Oh, of Mal... Maldives, Maldives, Mal Maldives. I want to say Maldives, but it's D I V E S, so it's Maldives, right? Yeah, Maldives. Yep. yep. So that's what that one is. So, do you guys want to go through them mm -hmm. envelope by envelope? What do we want to do? All right. Who, who the ones that were picking prices were between. Um, five and 10. Okay. I can live with that. And they were given all kinds. I, I can't even go up high enough. Yeah, no, we can't. We started I, with the country. Yeah, I so. can't do them by request. <clears throat> That's going to like, because they're not in any order. But if right. you guys want to sit and look at them, we, we can do them. And we don't have to do them all tonight. They're not going anywhere. Right. 
So I can bring them out again next time. Anytime you guys want to look at them, I can bring them out. So they're not going anywhere, I promise. Um, and for the person who said they wanted all of these, which was Lisa Smith, right? Lisa Smith. Hang on one second. Lisa Smith. So then there's this entire box. It's all, but they're all on, well, 90% of these are on envelope corners. And these are international and U.S. The U.S. is on top because it's the last envelope I emptied. Um, but these weren't sorted nicely like the ones in the tub underneath. So there's a mix. But all of these are on envelope corners. And this is like a big box. Wow. It's like a 10 by 12 by four inch box. This, this is a big box. If you're interested in that, Lisa, reach out to me. And then we all know, you know, tennis shoe boxes, right? Oh my, are you kidding me? No, I'm not kidding. When I told you guys I could do stamps for days, I was not kidding. So if somebody, if, you know, one or two of you are interested in these two, boxes all of them i would definitely entertain it think about it reach out to me shoot me an offer um don't shoot for the moon because it doesn't need to be ridiculous holy moly yep mm. so there's those two so i'll set those aside and we'll see what happens with those and that's what's left after I made all those other packets. So now you know why there was 75 <laughs> half ounce packets of stamps. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> so that was a little bit crazy. So let's start with the, do you guys, all right, I don't have room. Hold on. I'm trying to decide. You, get, you guys want to see the stamps too, right? Not just the country, I'm guessing. Oh, I think they're happy with the country, but. Okay. I just would like be really upset if somebody mm -hmm. gets them and disappointed. All right. So here's how I'll do it. I'll pull out the, the country. There. Whew, I have some room. And if you need a message. What? Glynis sent you a message. Okay, cool. Cool beans. Thank you. Just so, the country. They're saying just the country. Okay. I so don't. these are Nigeria. Let's just do $5 an envelope unless it's a really full, okay. no, $5 an envelope. I don't care. $5 an envelope is fine. Um, does anybody have a problem with me just writing your name right on these envelopes? If you don't want me to write your name on the envelope, please put that in with your me. Um, so this one is Nigeria, and I'll kind of fan these out so you guys can see what's coming, and then I'll grab another stack. Okay, so how do you want me to do this? Just do, um, if you want to type Nigeria, $5. Okay. Or do you want me to make a stack, Maggie? Did you type that yet? No, I haven't. Okay, hang on. Let me do it this way. I'll make your life super simple. Lisa said you just should make sure that there are stamps in them. <laughs> yes, I will. <laughs> Absolutely. I will be checking them as we go. Oh, that's a good idea. Okay. So, yep. This one has like six in it. This one has, this one has quite a few. Iran has quite a few. Nigeria has mm, a couple dozen, I would say. And we'll just do these five dollars in envelope. Okay. Um, and that way they can just type in which country they want, and you can just type like round one or two or whatever works for you. All right, Nigeria, Iran, and Mali. I put that in. Okay. However you want to do it. If you want to switch to rounds or groups or however you want to do it, Mags. When Lisa Smith emailed you. She said. Okay. Got it. I am going to make a note because I have a hunch it's Lisa Smith and Glennis that are interested. Okay, Christina, you have A, but I just put the country in. Which country did you want? 
Nigeria. For? For Christina Hill. Okay. Okay, and that's it for this round? That's it. Louise okay. says, Patty, why don't you just do ABC easier for Mag and everyone can read the names? I can do that. Okay. Works for me. Works for me. I'm just going to put $5 each. A, B, C. Anybody watching this is going to know it's stamps. A, Korea, Bahamas, Pakistan. All right, that's I can see on YouTube. So, Kathy Behe would like B. Got it. They all want to be. Mary would like A. So, C is still available. Just double checking them all as I'm. Oh, we went wrong way. There we go. Okay. B, C. Okay. Austria, Bulgaria, Peru. Oh, Cindy Luhu. She put it after. Oh, no. Okay. She put A, and that wasn't available. So she might have wanted this round, but it was before my go. Paula gets A. Okay. Jennifer Jane gets C. That's okay, Cindy. Okay. B is still available. B is still available, right? I'm holding them up to the light so I can see through them. <laughs> okay, Russia, Jamaica, and Sri Lanka. Okay, um, Beth K gets B. Got it. And Kathy Berg gets A. And that leaves C still available. Okay, so C goes there. Okay. Poland. That's great. a good idea, Louise. Yeah, thanks, Louise. Okay, Becky gets A. Okay. Kathy Berg gets B. Okay. And C is still available. Okay. Yep, there's a few in there. Okay, so now this could get interesting. So this is the one... That's Columbia. See, and then he's got them crossed out, so I'm going to have to... This is Mexico. And this one is Mexico also. Mm -hmm. Yep, this one's Mexico also. So there's two for Mexico. Oh, they'll all still fit. I can still put the C over here. Okay, those are in. Thank you. 
because it's gold. Christina Hill would like A and C. And Jennifer Jane gets B. We need to get them to start standing up because these ones don't have fl the first ones we did have flaps these ones don't okay so mm -hmm. this one is not mexico i think this one's colombia nope i don't china china it's what it says but some of them are obviously chinese but that one did not look it, what did what did he put underneath China? ROC. I wonder what that's. Yeah. Which oh, one? Republic of China. Yeah. So and there's all different ones in here. They're not the same at all. Oh, so right. so that one is China. This one and oh, this is those ones from um, Bhutan. Those pretty ones that I started out showing you guys. Okay. So that's Bhutan. We'll do that one is C. And then this one, oh, it has a number one on it. That's helpful. This one is Mexico. These are Mexico. Okay. And I will package these up nicely, you guys, so they're not, like, flying. I'll probably staple them or fold them and staple No, I don't know. I'll figure it out. But they will come nicely so that your stamps aren't flying all over your package. At the very least, I'll put them in the clear bags and seal those for you. Somebody asked how old they were. Does it say how old they are? Um, They're all over the place. Some are not that old. Some are super old. I mean, there's one cent, there's one cent stamps in here. I mean, and like I said, I don't know enough about stamps to have any intelligent conversation. We're... We're lucky I'm figuring out where they're from. I am not a stamp collector or anything. I I know what stamps are. Okay. <clears throat> Beth K gets C. Okay. Kathy B he gets A. Oh, Kathy B he. Got it. And I know I saw a B. I just have to scroll down. Oh, you're fine. Gigi Hannah gets B. Hey, Gigi. Okay. So this one I already looked, but I'm going to double check. This is Mexico. What is Mexico? Double check. This one is Mexico. I remember there being a whole bunch of Mexicos right in a row, and then there are none. And then this one is Mexico. Okay, so they're all Mexico. All three of these, yep. Okay. And if there's no interest in Mexican Mexico stamps, we'll just move on to other ones. Because see, like, here's another package of them. Mm -hmm. And these he has sorted by the stamp. These are kind of more... Lori F wants C and GGH would like B. Okay. A, and I'll put Mexico. Okay. So I'll even show you. Those are blue. These are Mexico. These are purple, pink, green, a little bit of blue. These are Mexico.
This one is Mexico, and they're all this like really pretty light blue kind of color. Sandra N would like C. Got it. Okay. A and B still available. Oh, it's such a door. That's okay. Those other two were Mexico that I put up there. I'm just going to move. Yep. Let's move past them. Those are Mexico. Well, yeah, we'll just move past them. These are Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe. There's a lot in this one. This one is Zimbabwe. There's a lot of animals in these. Um, and like, there's animals and like some of their co not collectible buildings. Um, good Lord. You know, buildings that people want to visit. What are those called? <laughs> oh, my gosh. I lost all my words. Um, Tourist attractions. We'll go with that. Okay. That's coming to my head. No, um, are they the same? Because the, I'm reading Zambia. Oh, it says Zim. It says. Zim but it's Zimbabwe on the stamp. Hold on. B says Zambia on the stamps. I am oh, okay. positive this says Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe. Yes. A okay. is Zimbabwe. It really is. I didn't lose my mind, you guys. See, it really is. Yep. Yeah, I just want to make sure in case there was a difference between there the two. Obviously is. Thanks, Max. You're welcome. Because one of us is not reading. Um, I don't know. This says something ONT, which makes me think, oh, Toronto, Ontario. Ontario. <laughs> but but they don't all say, this one says U.S. internal revenue. So this one doesn't have a country on it. Hmm. And all it says is $1. So I don't know. That's why I'm like, hmm, let's pull out a couple. Maybe of those are all different. Maybe, I don't know. Canadian girls, are these Canadian stamps? Do we know? Jody said that can be a mystery pack, Patty. But they're fine. Oh, maybe they're all tax stamps. Oh, maybe. Yeah. Yep. I bet they are. Those are those fun stamps. These are like the ones we find on the documents, you guys. Remember when we're always like, hey, I bet that's what those are. Beth says it's a stray pack. Yeah. Stray. <laughs> Works for me. Okay. Okay. Zimbabwe, Zambia, and mystery. All right. Waiting for... Okay, there we go. Okay, those are sold. Holy moly. Holy moly. Somebody wanted a bunch of those. <laughs> okay, I got to find my... Okay. Um... Kathy Berg gets C. Oh, they all wanted C. <laughs> mm -hmm, probably. Yep, they all wanted C. As soon as oh, we wait a minute, out. wait a minute. I think I see an A in there. Hold on, okay. let me scroll back up. Lori wanted A. Gotcha. Um, as soon as we figured out what it was, I was like, "Yeah, everybody's gonna want this one." Good oh, job. Well, Jane's gonna take um, B. Okay.
Perfect. Thanks, guys. All right. This one says small dunes stamps. And there's two. There's other ones in here, just so you know. And there's a teeny tiny little um, glassine bag. And then there's, see how tiny those are? They are teeny tiny little stamps. But for reference, like, look at my thumbnail. Look at the stamp. Oh, yeah. They're tiny, tiny. And there's two. This one is Old and New Plains, and this one is Wild Animals. So I don't know what Old Dunes stamps are, but there you have it. So we'll met that one is A. Costa Rica is going to be B. There's a lot in that one. And Yemen. I love saying Yemen. <laughs> they have some cool stamps too. Like, look at that one. Together, it looks like, oh wait. If you use both stamps, it makes the whole caravan. Oh, wow. Their stamps are incredible. Like all the stamps in those packs that I should, like in the inspiration boards and that, the um, mystery packs, they're all Yemen stamps because they're just ridiculously cool. And there's a ton in here. So there's Yemen. They're pretty cool. Those are sold. Okay. <clears throat> oh, wait a minute. Now I gotta wait for that to catch up. Okay, here we go. Uh, Melanie would like B and C. And Becky gets A. Thank you, ladies. I don't know if I've been thinking, saying thank you all along, but thank you to all of you so far. This one is Tunisia. This one is Thailand. These are pretty cool, too. I like the colors. So we'll do Thailand on B. And this one is Chad. And Chad has a lot of full, well, there's three, four, there's four or five full sheets in there. And then you get all those little ones. Where is Chad? I've heard of Chad, but I don't know where it's at. Is it? I'm not even going to guess. I don't know why I would even guess. I have no right. photography <laughs> skills. Better off to just be quiet. <laughs> Somebody will tell us they they oh, know. she says Africa. There we go. Okay, let me go to Cindy Garrett gets B. Okay. Lisa Smith gets C. Kathy Burke says, I feel like we're watching the Olympics. You and me both. Yeah. Okay, so that leaves A still a game. Okay. So then Tanzania. And there's a lot of Queen Elizabeth. There's um Animals. Hmm. Yep, animals and the queen for Tanzania. Then we have Venezuela. Lots of different colors in that one. And Uruguay. Is it Uruguay? Uruguay. 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 Okay. There. Oh, wait a minute. There might be one of each. So, so there's the colors in that one. There's a lot in that one. I decided to show the colors because if people are looking for some that look like older vintage stamps, like some of these, like this one, these have that colorway. And don't anybody tell me, oh, there's probably a thousand dollar stamp there. I it doesn't matter to me. <laughs> I am not, not that girl. Okay. 
Uh, Kathy Behe gets C. Kathy B. Okay. All right. Lori F. gets B. Okay. And Cindy Luhu gets A. Awesome. Thanks, ladies. Cindy Lou. Okay. Then this one is, I don't know how to pronounce this. At all. Okay. And, it's backwards. and it's, oh, these are United Nations. I'm going to go with United Nations stamps. Lisa, help me out here. I know you do stamps. Are those are those United Nations stamps? Because there's a couple in there that say United Nations. But see on the bottom of each stamp, Maggie, where it's backward, the OPP, you have to like read it backwards. You'd have to put it in front of a mirror for us to be able to read it. Oh, okay. But I'm going to go with United. There's a couple of them that are United Nations stamps. But there's all different colors. Well, there's a lot of red, but there's some blue ones in there too. But a couple of them say United Nations on Lisa it. Lisa said looks like it. Okay. <coughs> oh, UN. I bet they are. United Nations. Yep. Okay. So I'm going to turn this one over this way and I'm going to put United Nations. This one is Upper Volta. These are really cool. Look at some of the images on those. Wow. All the butterflies and people. They're just really cool. I like this. Yep. There, and there's a lot in that one. Um, and then I have no idea. This one. Um, I think maybe like Arabian. I'm not sure. There's the, no nothing. It, it is, but it's down here. But I have no idea how to pronounce it. It's U-M-M-A-L. And these are, in, so it's U-M-M, -M, new word, A-L, new word, Q-I-W-A-I-N. So I have no idea. Um, a few of the stamps are Olympic, and then there's just all different ones. There's like um, coliseums, there's animals, there's fish, there's like this one. This is a cool looking stamp. Well, I couldn't have pulled that one out first because somebody could read that one, right? There's that one. Yeah, that's a, that's a um, Arab. That's what I thought. Yeah. Okay. So <clears throat> there's those three. United Arab Emirates. Okay, thank you. Beth I don't know K. who got that. Beth K. Cool. Okay, that's in there. Okay. Becky gets B. Okay. Janine gets A. Okay. And C is still available. Okay. Cool, because I'm going to stick these, because these are the same thing or same place. The next envelope, I'm going to stick them in here with this. So next time it'll just have more. Okay. Did I get them all? Yep. All right. So this one is Ukraine. Ooh, these are fun colors. These look how vintage those look. Nice. So that's Ukraine. And let's see. What is this one? Uganda. Yep. These are Uganda. Not a lot, but there's some in there. More than you think, that's for sure. I learned that the hard way. <clears throat> there's Uganda. What's this one? This one is Turkish Cyprus. Cyprus. Ooh. Um, Sheila B is going to take C from that last one. You got it. Put she that in it. after my C is still available before you showed all these. So Okay. So there's, there's the Turkish Cyprus ones. Oh, I'll turn it this way so you remember. 
she loved me. All right, I'll put this these in. <clears throat> yeah, I had the opportunity to get these, and I'm telling you, I had no idea that I was bringing home this many stamps. I got there, and I was like, holy crap. Uh, Becky gets A. Got it. Paula gets C. Got it. It looks like B is still available. What was B? Um, Uganda. So I'm going to put this one over here. Okay. Oh, these are cool. This is really cool. For Chile. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. Lona said Greece and Turkey split the island of Cyprus. Oh, okay. Cool. Thank you. This is... I'm going to say central Lithuania. These are all full sheets. So there's, and they're all by color. So I'm going to say there's probably five, looks like five or six, five or six full sheets. Nice. Yep. Central Lithuania. And this one is central, right? C-E-N-T, you guys, cent central Africa. Mm -hmm. And then he's got Re Republic, I would bet, because it's R-E-P after it. Yep, Republic, Republic. Oh, look, there's Lady Di. There's Satellite or something. Something as space. There's, it's a pretty building. I don't know what building it is, but it's pretty. Yeah, full sheets and then a whole bunch of singles. So there's that one. Cindy Lou, who also sent you an email, she said. Okay, cool. Thank you, ma'am. Okay. Lori F. gets A. Got it. Becky gets B. And C available okay so this one is Yemen lots of Yemen see like look at the fit the fish yeah they're, they're colorful huh they're so pretty <clears throat> I know they're upside down but I'm sorry guys um and then you get like different scenic ones there's a couple that are um, partial sheets. I just like, like, look at the numbering on them, the, like, writing. I just think that's super cool. So, and they're they're just, I like theirs a lot. There's a couple of them I discovered I really like. So there's Yemen. Here's another one from Central Africa. Oh, my gosh. These are all, holy cow. Look, these are all Lady dyes, and there's a ton of them. And then the rest of them are, I think they're all the rest the same. This guy, he's a very British looking. Oh, wow. So, and there's a ton of those. If this one doesn't go, I'll probably hang on to this one and break it down into packs for us or something. So that one's B. And then this one is Mexico. And this looks very, from the Olympic from uh, the Mech, yeah, when the Olympics were in Mexico. Mm -hmm. Yep, these are all Olympic stamps. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, those are sold. Okay.
Okay, uh, Becky gets B, and Christina Hill gets A. And Kathy Behe gets C. Thanks, ladies. Good night, Sheila. Good night, Sheila. Thanks. Okay. All right. So here's more from Chile. It's a giant one. So the way this guy writes, I was going to say Chiva, but it's China. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yep, these are China. These will look older to me, some of them, but then some of them not. But look at that bird. The bird one. Oops. See, the bird ones are so pretty. Yeah. Upside down. So that's really pretty, right? Okay, so that's China. And... This one is, these have got to be Chile again. And they look older also. I'm trying to get them to where they'll flap over so you can see the colors. You did show up, Jennifer, but you were after, um, let's see, where were you? From the on the last one, it was Becky B, then Nancy V, then Christina A B, then U A. You were after Christina. Okay, what was C? I didn't hear it. Sorry. Um, Chile. Okay. I was supposed to write it on here, and instead I went for a basket. Okay, Patricia H. gets A. Got and it. Beth K. gets C. Okay. And B is still available. Okie dokie. Okay, so these must be tax stamps again. Lisa, Jameson, anybody who knows? They say canal zone. Does that mean, not cal zone, canal zone. <laughs> <laughs> Does that mean they're tax stamps also? Make that one um, A. These are Cameroon. These are pretty. Lisa said no. Oh. Panama Canal. Oh, See, if I had guessed that, it would have been so wrong. Panama. So, I think these would be perfect for anybody doing prayer journals. Like, look at this one. And where is that one? Cameroon. Ooh. Yeah, there's some really pretty. And then you've got, like, some elephants and um, gorillas and giraffes. Elephants. Did I say elephants? Mm -hmm. So, yeah, a little bit of variety there for Cameroon. And then, oh, wait, hold on. We might be combining. This one is Cameroon also. Oh, yeah, let's combine them because then you really get a nice, because some of these look old and vintage. Oh, look at these. Look at those triangular ones. Oh, yeah. Those are cute. Let's combine these. We'll make one. Okay, so there's Cameroon. You make sure that's empty and then throw it away. Yeah. And this one is Burundi. Oh, these are nice too. Look at these. Oh, pretty. Right? And again, oh my gosh. Oh, wow. Yeah, they're just nice. Then you've got her. Just a ton of them in here. This is a nice, oh, look, more butterflies and flowers. Yep. 
couple Olympic ones, not too many though. A couple of um, like two full sheets, maybe, maybe three. I'm not sure how big their sheets are. So yeah, that's Burundi. Okay. Hi, Kathleen. Hey, Kathleen. How are you? Okay, Nancy V gets C. Hey, Nancy. My gosh, I'm yelling like all of a sudden. Okay. <laughs> Melanie gets B. Okay. And A is still available. Okay. Alrighty, this one is Bhutan, and there is a lot. There's a little bit of everything. You've got Olympics, you've got, look at all these pretty florals. Oh, wow. All those different floral ones. <clears throat> and there's a lot of them. So that one is Bhutan, that's A. Okay. This is Bulgaria. We might, oh, hang on, we might be mixing. Or combining. So this has got a little envelope. Oh, look at how cute those are. Pretty. And then you've got this little glassine envelope with some in it. Let's see how many. Oh, there's another little glassine envelope. And this is a treasure trove, this one. Let's see. Oh, this is a nice size, too. All right, we'll do them separate. Because these are pretty colors. I like these. That's Bulgaria also? Um, yep, Bulgaria. You've got the florals. And I like that the writing is like backwards for us. I love it. And then there's just, there's tons in here. And these are like newer. There's a sheep. There's florals. There's a floral. These are nice. Really nice. Okay, so there's two. Kim there. wants to know if you're going to be doing other things besides the stamps tonight. I am. As soon as a couple of you say, can we move on? We'll move on. Yeah, because uh, these aren't going anywhere. That's for sure. Okay, those are sold. Okay. Okay, Janet N gets A. Janet N, yep. Uh, Beth K gets C. And Jennifer Jane gets B. Okay. Hmm. Okay. You guys want to stay with stamps or do you want to move on? It's up to you guys. I'm just so tickled you guys want them. Oh my gosh. We'll just do one more round, Maggie, while we're waiting for answers to come in. Okay, yeah. Okay, so this one is A is going to be Bolivia. This one is, it looks like bogus, but... I don't know. I mean, his writing looks like, I don't know what these are. They look like Olympic stamps and they're like, but they're all different. Like they look like they're from different places or I don't know. So if somebody knows what that is, there you go. But they're all very Olympic from the nineties. And then this one is Brazil. Look at all of those. Oh, nice. Yeah. And they all are like really nice, cool, old colors. <laughs> they are, but they're just every color in there. Okay. They're saying move on. Okay. So we'll do this. We'll do these three and then we'll move on. Right. Okay. Works for me. Jeannie wants to know what else you got. Everything. Just kidding. 
Just kidding. Um, put these back here. Okay. Okay, Penny P gets C and Lorna gets A. Okay. Thanks, ladies. To everybody. He is still available. Okay. Let me put this back on the shelf. Beth K wants to know if she can have a random pack of the Mexico, please. Um. Ugh. Yes. Yes. <clears throat> if I can find them quickly. Oh, that's nice, Penny. She said, well, she put C in like six times and she said, yes, I do. I want, I went to Brazil on a mission trip. Nice. Very because nice. somebody said, Penny wants C. <laughs> nice. All right. Gotcha, Beth. Only because it was Mexico and I knew where they were. <laughs> okay. So, there's that. Let me put a few things. Maggie, are you ready for a break? I Actually, I could use a quick one. Okay. So, we're going to do a quick intermission. I'm going to pull up the music books. I think we'll do music. And then we'll look at these other mystery bags after the music. How's that? Okay. Sounds good. Okay. And just for reference, there are so many music books, you guys. And there's more than this. Like, look, this is one stack. Okay. So I will put up the banner. Let's see. Where did it go? And if anybody has anything going on on your YouTube, in your Etsy's, on your websites, just let us know. Shameless self-promotion. Give us a couple minutes and we'll be right back.
Okay, what I miss? Let's see. Lorna making a new kit roses and vintage French combo. Ooh, sounds nice. I would like that. Kathleen's getting ready to list vintage trims, laces, in a pioneer woman inspired journal. Artist to the King on Etsy. Okay. Yep, Lori, Maggie, and I will be going on Wednesday night instead of tomorrow night because it's my granddaughter's 15th birthday, and we're going to do a dinner and cake and presents. Yes, Lorna, you got those Edith Holden journals almost done? I just finished a journal, too, but I have to do a video. Is a link to Kathleen's Etsy. Error, try again. Debbie Royer. Okay, Debbie, it won't let us for some reason. Oh, you're trying to put in your um your link, and you can't put in a link unless you're blue. So that's why it's not showing up. But her link is Debbie's Joy Create, all one word, dot com. I can try. Uh, let's see. Lori's channel is there. Thanks, Louise. <clears throat> I know. I can't believe she's 15, Lorna. Oh my gosh, I almost clicked the end stream button. <laughs> oh my gosh. That would have been a hasty exit, huh? JJ says, I need some music with no words that I can fold and copy die. Well, there you go. All of this paper is in pretty good shape, I will say. I didn't see any of it. That's like there's bright white. Um, and some of these are thicker than others. Some are thinner. So my thought was, I just wanted to do these flat price. If you guys want me to make two piles and A and B them, we can do that. But if you get thinner ones, you're going to get like three of them. <laughs> there's so much music. There's so much, like these two stacks, there's that much more. And then there's the same height of a pile of all the music sheets, like per song, you know what I mean? The like trifold or whatever. Mm -hmm. So there is so much music, you guys. We are not gonna run out of music for a minute. Um, so what do you guys wanna do? You wanna do it random or do you want to see them? as a b's all right random or a b's because if they're random um, <clears throat> if Lisa said she sent you a few pics on messenger okay. and kathy berg had said she sent you i forget if it said email or message but it was way up there okay i will look you guys <clears throat> um and I have been really bad. I have not kept up with my email. I'm going to totally own that. Um, but I am going to catch it all up tomorrow. I'm going to work on emails tomorrow. And then I'll start on invoicing. So 
I, you know, it may take me until Wednesday to get invoicing all the way done, but I am going to set it up everybody with two payments, like a deposit and then like 10 days out for the final payment. Um, and if you want it all as one, I think you can make the deposit and then come right back in and make the other payment. Or if you need me to change it, just let me know and I can make it one payment. So you've got time to think about it. Um, okay. AB. AB. Okay. Mm -hmm. So... We have our A and B. Oh, look, it's going to work. There's B. There's A. And if you guys don't mind, do you guys use the covers? Can I use, can I use these stickers if I put them on the box? Are you guys okay with that? Or do you want me to use stick? I'll just use sticky notes. Forget. I'll just do, I have them. It's not like I don't have any. I'll just use sticky notes. Because I'm fussy about that stuff when I'm the one shopping. So just sticky notes. It's fine. These are going to be a whopping $3 a piece. And keep wow. in mind, if you get skinny ones, you're going to get three. So I'll tell you that going in. So these are both, these are both chunky ones. Like almost half an inch thick. This one is a half an inch thick. Um, this is just a nice creamy. This is no words, Jennifer. There's going to be quite a few of these with no words. And then this one um, is no words also. Okay. Okay. Okay, those are sold. Okay. Let me get over to StreamYard here. Yeah, I have just been really lucky and stumbled into some really good deals. So, all right, Kathy Berg gets A, and Christina Hill gets B. Kathy Berg. Christina Hill. Let me gonna pile these. One moment. Okay, there's that one. There's that one. Okay, this is a skinny one. So it's moving over here. Well, this is really skinny. This one can wait till we do the other sheet music. So A is going to be three. You're going to get Brahms, which is nice bright white paper. Oh, you're going to get two of Brahms. This one is a creamy. And then this one is 27 songs. And it's a nice bright white paper. It does have some words. So you'll get those. <coughs> Oops, that's the right way, Patty. Those three. And then this one is, it's a cool cover. Nice, creamy, no words. And about a half inch thick. <coughs> okay. Hey, dear B. Hey, dear B. How are you? Okay, those are sold. Well, you could have sold about 10 of the Bs. Mm -hmm. um, and Becky is getting B. And Dawn M is getting A. Dawn Messinger, is she? Mm -hmm. She knew. Hey, Dawn. I think she emailed me. Okay. I think I have her info. Okay. So this one, um, two on this one. So you're getting it's Bach, nice creamy paper. The front and back covers are loose. And then... I don't know how to say his name. I'm not gonna even gonna try. And this is, oh, this is an, like an eggshell color. It's not bright, bright white, like an eggshell. So you get those two. And then this one is, oh, that would have been a cool cover too. That one's missing its cover. It would have been like that, but fancy. 
And this is a nice creamy. <clears throat> okay, those are sold. Jennifer Jane gets a B and Dawn M gets A. Thank you, ladies. <clears throat> okay, there's Dawn's, there's Jennifer's. Um, okay, so this one is going to be these three. You're going to get. Um, I don't know. Octave studies. I want to say Shalm. Is it Shalm? Mm -hmm. um, ooh, the Wurlitz are organ. <laughs> and Rachmaninoff. Yeah, that guy. I don't trust myself and I hate to stop. <laughs> <laughs> I'm you know, used to sounding stupid sometimes, so I'll go for well, it. You know, but if you're just horsing around, it's one thing. But then when you're like trying to get it right and then it comes out, it's like, ugh. Um, okay, that one's fatter. Let's do these three. So nice, creamy. Ooh, that's a nice one. Look how tanned that is. Mm. This paper might be a little on the fragile side. I'm not sure. Yeah, we're going to go with fragile on that one. I like that cover though. Oh, scales by, by Shalm. Shalm again. And this is, um, was probably bright white, but it's a little. <clears throat> oh, look, David, you actually read this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's oh my gosh, that's funny. Hi, James. <laughs> hey, you. Oh, my gosh, he's such a good oh, I thought he was talking to me. <laughs> he probably is. He probably is. <laughs> Okay. okay, those are sold. Okay. Veronica K gets B and Sherry gets A. Veronica K and Sherry. Thanks, ladies. Okay. So this one is a chunky one. <clears throat> oh, this is that Shrimer's. Sh I'm going with Shrimer's. Short. I don't know. I don't know. I know I have the I and the R mixed up, but I'm going with it. This is a neat color. It's almost got like a green tint to it. It's interesting color. And then let's see. Let's do. So the Irish one will be on B next. Next, not this time. You'll get a nice creamy one. That's a nice heavyweight paper too. Oh, one I can read. Mary Martin. The Sound of Music. Actually, I can pronounce it. That's the thing. And good, good music, music, easy yep. to play. Yep. This is a nice bright white. We'll go <clears throat> He's probably downstairs rolling his eyes like, really, Patty? <laughs> yep. Okay, those are sold. Okay. Let's see. Lori F gets A and Nancy V gets B. Thank you, ladies. Okay, this is a nice chunky one. This is, ooh, this is a nice paper. 
this is that nice creamy this would be a good one too for dyeing see all these papers are really stable incredibly bright white holy toledo see these are my kind of songs nice and short <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness so there's those two are sold. Just have to make sure I'm in the right one. Yep, you're good. We are in no rush. <clears throat> Doesn't make sense. Maybe it hasn't caught up. What you looking for? Well, um, I didn't know if it just didn't put yours in again, like it does sometimes, or yeah. Okay, I just want to make sure I didn't go, because so many, I don't want to go up too high and have it be the other one. Gotcha. <clears throat> so Nancy V gets B and Jennifer Jane gets A. Gotcha. Nancy V. Jennifer Jane. All righty. Thanks, ladies. So, okay, this one, oh my gosh, this one has records in it for Pete's sakes. This is what Patty needs. I might be able to learn music. Ha, huh? not <laughs> for the guitar. Then we're going to put, this is going to be a three pack. Nice creamy. Okay, so you've got the guitar, you've got this guy. I can say which show stack show stack a witch. That's who we're going with. And okay. Mark. Yes. You okay. Oh yeah. Oh, okay. So you get those three as a, and then this one is going to be Mozart. Um, the concert concerto, right? Concerto in G mm -hmm. for the violin and piano. 19. Ooh, that's even a slightly. Yep, they're a little bit different color. These are more tan than creamy. Those are nice. And then Romberg. Kind of an eggshell again. So you'll get those three. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Sandra N gets B and Lori F gets A. Thank you, ladies. Okay. This one is chubby chubby like regular book oh nice mm -hmm. all tanned around the edges this one is a pulpy paper it's not the same paper as the other ones um we'll put this one kind of in the fragile category okay so there's that one and then let's do we'll do this one because it can be on its own also there's that Shrimers, which I'm not pronouncing right. I know. And this is just nice. You can, you know, anything. 
anything you want with that one. It'll take the abuse. Okay, those are sold. Christina Hill gets B. And Kathy Behe gets A. Awesome. Thanks, ladies. All right, let's see. Oh, there's two apiece. Okay, so these two are going to be, we'll do these two for two. Since there's only two. What was that? We're gonna. I'm gonna do A and B. These two stacks will be two dollars each because I'm at the end oh, of them. Unless okay. they want me to go get more. Um, this is interesting. I like the margins on this. This is kind of cool. So there's that one. Oh look, there's two of them. And that one's. Oh, I like the writing on the front. Mm-hmm. It's cool, right? Yep. Okay, so there's those two, and then this one is. The Virginalist? I don't know. I don't know. <clears throat> nice, bright, white. Interesting. Paper. Right? And then... Nice, creamy paper. This is more tan than creamy, but it's got a nice finish on it. So, there's those two. Okay. Okay, those are sold. Okay. Just waiting for it to catch up. Okay, Sherry gets A. And Got it. Don M gets B. Got it. Thanks, ladies. That was awesome. Perfect. You guys want more music or you want to do something else? What else you got? Well, I have, let's do these other mystery packs. We can always come back to music before we leave if we want. Something else. Something else. Gotcha. Okay. mystery yes so there's two different look how cute they look they just make me think of I love those bows i know they make me feel like, like loaves or i don't know like bakery things you know what i mean mm -hmm. i just as soon as I packaged them, I was like, oh my gosh, they look like they've been to the bakery. And then, wait a second, I'm fixing this other one because one slipped. And then here's the other one. Nice. So, yeah, so there's large and small. <laughs> I just want you to know that going in. They're the same thing, just different quantities. Okay, so we'll do the large ones first. Wait one second. And they come with a little bit, and you'll understand here in just a sec. So let me scoot this over here. <laughs> so these are items that you can expect to find inside. Oh, pretty. These are the remnants. There's another piece of the same thing. There's this one in there. There's 
Did I show you this one already? Yep, that one. There's this one. Oh, that's pretty. There's this one, which is right side. I think this is right side. There's that one. There's this one. Some will be different, but the same, right? Well, these or are not. a variety pack, and these are things that you can expect to find in... <laughs> And this has like a super pastel, there you go, embroidery on it. So this one has 10 yards. So you have 10 one yard pieces. And it can be any combination of any of these. If you get two of them, you may get the same lace. Not all the same, but you may have one or two that are are the same. Does that make sense? But I didn't make any two exactly the same. Oh, those are so pretty. And there's this one. And the other smaller bags have five yards in them. And the same, the same laces I pulled from to put those together also. But there's just so many. <laughs> I just decided it was time to clean out the lace so that I could get more because I've been passing on lace because I had so much. So now I can actively gather it up again. Is that one? I already showed you that one. And that one and that one. And there's this one. You guys have seen this one in some of the other boxes but like all of these this is it this is hi karen hey karen there's well the mystery is you don't know which 10 yards yep. you're going to get yep and i priced them accordingly knowing that you're it's a mystery so there's that one okay I think that's it. I think that's all the variety. Oh, there's a couple of daisy ones in there too. So there's this one that's a little daisy trim. Okay. So that's, that's in your each, you have 10 different laces in each one of these bags. It's 10 one yard pieces. There's no duplicates in any one bag. So if you get one bag, you're going to get 10 different pieces of lace. If you get two bags, you may get two or three that are the same between each bag. Does that make sense? Yep. Okay. So we get an empty basket and there's quite a few of these. So, I mean, I'm just going to, and then there's the five yard ones too. So there's the five yard pack. So keep that in mind. These that are 10 yards are going to be 17 a piece. That's $1.70 a yard um, for these laces. That's a pretty good deal. A really good deal. <laughs> so there's those. These I can do on because the oh, and these are the glassine bags. And this is um vintage uh shoot, I just lost it. Bias, bias tape. Like you would fold it and make your own. All right. So I'll put this in. Yep. Okay. You ready? Yep. Kathy Berg would like one. Okay. Sandra N. Okay. Kendall. Okay. Shelby. One more. Becky. Okay. I'm going to label these and then we'll go on. Okay. Hi, Lynn. Uh, 
Um, there we go. Okay. Alrighty. Okay. Lynn J. Hey, Lynn. Okay. Melanie. Okay. Christine S. Okay. Dawn M. One more. Sherry. Okay, and then I've got one more box of these if we need them. Okay, yep, you do. Okay. And so you can see they're not sticking. So these are going to get packaged in plastic, and then I'll label them that way. Just so you guys know. The stickies don't stick to the glassine. And then this is the last five of these. Okay. And I'm ready when you are. Kathy Behe. Okay. Drew Cabral. Do you have her info? Um, I don't. Um, Drew, if you could just send me um, an email to the email on the screen there. I just need your YouTube name, your real name if it's different, um, and your zip code so that I can get you accurate shipping. And I um, invoice through uh, the square. So I'll just send your invoice to the email that you contact me with. Okay, Sandy Garrett. Got it. Kim. S mm -hmm. and Christina Hill. Awesome. Thanks, ladies. Oh, that's exciting. On so many levels. <laughs> now I can go find more vintagey stuff for us or antique leases. Okay. Let me set these in there, and then we'll do the um, five-yard ones. Okay. And how much are those going to be? Those are going to be, I think I have 10 on those. Okay. Yeah, I think that's what you, and I just totally forgot. Oh, nine. I have nine on them. No, I got her, Louise. And there's 18 of these. Okay. Oh, $9? Okay. Yep. I was waffling 9 or 10, 9 or 10, and I was like, oh, Patty, please, just do it. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. Okay, Kathleen, have a good night. Good night, Kathleen. Thanks for coming. Okay, you ready? Yep. Sandra N. Okay. Paula Fowler. Okay. Sherry. Okay. Glennis. Okay. Kendall. Okay. Cindy Luhu. I love saying that name. I know, right? <laughs> Got it. Dawn M. Got it. Christine S. Okay, and then I want to tag them, and then I'll move on to the next sheet. Okay.
Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Um, <coughs> Tina. Okay. And Christina Hill. All right. Okay, so we've still got some of these available if anybody comes back later and wants one. Okay, and I'm going to put still available. Kim wants to know if you've done any more with the mixed media kits. They are ready. Um, I'm going to, they're all, I got them all done, all put together, and they'll be on the invoice for tomorrow. Oh, when Crafty Michelle would like one. Oh, sorry. No, you're fine. Go ahead, Megs. Crafty Michelle would like one of those. Okay. Um, do you have her info? I don't know. Crafty Michelle. Um, have I invoiced? Because so many people are changing their YouTube names that I'm like, I don't know. I know. Oh, Julie Gullet would like one also. Okay. Michelle B. Her name is with one L. Have I invoiced you? I feel like I've invoiced you before now. Have I? I feel like I have. Judy, I think I have your invoice or your invoice, mm -hmm. your information. I think, I think. And Michelle said, yes, you have. And Judy said, so. yes. Yep, I thought so. Okay. And so. what would you like to know, do you ever see library catalog cards? Um, sometimes, but I don't find them like other people do. Mm -hmm. Like when they find like huge, huge amounts of them. I, I haven't. I have not found them like that. I would love to find like, oh my gosh, you know, the old Dewey Decimal when you go in and you have the drawer full of stuff. I would love to find a whole, a whole unit. That would be awesome. I have found them empty, but never full. So, other than a few books, that's that's all I brought tonight. Um, let's see, you guys. Let's. I keep bringing this Shakespeare book out, and then we never get to it. So let's do. I'm looking to see if I put something on top of the other one. Okay, so this is what the book looks like um, in its original state. These ties would be longer, obviously. And this thing is deceptively heavy, just so you know. Um, and these would tie, which I think is so cute. And then inside, nothing is permanently bound. It's not meant to be. <laughs> Isn't that cool? Oh, that's very cool. Yeah. So. <clears throat> okay, Christy, she hasn't sent out invoices yet. Yeah, Christy, um, with all of the craziness at Christmas, with all the shipping and everything, I didn't invoice at all since um, the last round, which has been what, you guys, two weeks, two and a half weeks, something like that. I wanted to wait and then I'm going to invoice tomorrow and Wednesday. They'll be going out. I have to catch up on emails tomorrow and then I'll start invoicing tomorrow and then probably finish up on Wednesday. And I'm going to do everybody's in a two part. I'm going to do a deposit do like in three, four days and then um, 10 days from the date of invoice will be um, the balance due. If you want to make it all in one payment, you can do that and then they'll ship right away. So it's up to you guys. I just didn't want to keep, because we had so many packages that just sat forever in one place. So, and I know some of the packages from what, three weeks ago, you guys, you still haven't gotten. So I just didn't want to keep adding to the craziness. Okay. So, but yeah. And if anybody, um, 
I know all of the, that was going to bring that up earlier too. Thank you, Christy. Um, I know some of you are having trouble when you put in the tracking number. It's not showing you updated, accurate information. So when I go to it and click it, it's showing me like where it is, where it's not showing you guys. So if anybody's having trouble with that, just um, shoot me a message. Yeah, see, Lisa's is one. And Lisa only lives two hours away from me. Two hours. And it's been, what, three weeks, Lisa? It's ridiculous. So... Kim wants to know if you'll invoice again for the second payment or does that, how does It'll, that work? Um, the square lets me set it up in multiple payments. So I'm just going to do a deposit like, okay, so today is the 28th. Let me get my calendar out so I can actually speak intelligently here. Hold on. I can give you guys accurate. Where's my calendar? Okay. So I'll start invoicing on the 29th and the 30th. So I will have the first payment due by, we'll say the third, we'll do Sunday the third. And then 10 days from Wednesday, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. So then the final payment I would do, um, I'll do on the 10th. I'll do on January 10th. Does that make sense? Yeah, she just said she didn't want to forget if she does do the two payment thing. It'll remind you. Yeah, don't worry. It'll remind you. It's set up to send reminders. It sends them the day after mm -hmm. it's due, and then it sends it on the second or third day. And it'll do the same thing when it's set up in payments. So no worries. Okay. And if you guys want to pay it off at once, um, Paula has let me send her little ones just so we can practice. But if you, um, if you make the first payment and then you decide what the heck, I just want to finish it off, then you can go right back in and repay it. If for some reason it won't let you do that, just let me know and I'll redo it for you. But if you want to take, and I'm just doing everybody's in two payments. Okay. Yeah, you can, Kendall. Absolutely. Yep. You absolutely can. Yeah, exactly, Judy. That's what I'm hoping is that now, yeah, that it will go faster. Yeah, seeing Christina still doesn't have hers. It's just crazy how slow it's been. But, um, some of it is I'm starting to get packages in. So I feel like it is starting to move a little bit faster. That's kind of how I gauge it too, because I'm in the middle of nowhere. So I kind of feel like if mine is starting to pick up, maybe your guys is this. So I don't know. All we can kind of do is keep an eye on it and see what's happening. But I just didn't want to add to the chaos and all of us totally lose track of everything. Yeah, exactly, Judy. Yeah, see? And that's where Lisa and I are. I could have so driven to her house every day. <laughs> or we could have met halfway. <laughs> that was crazy. Oh, my gosh. Remember, Maggie, when I mailed Lori's first package to her and it went to Hawaii before it yep. went to New York? <laughs> oh, my God. That was nuts. Oh, oh by the end of January? Are you kidding? Wow. 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 That's, that's awesome. Yeah. So that being said, thank you, Lisa, that I know exactly how I want to. Yeah. Yep. Yep. I'm going to do probably every other week invoicing then, because I don't like for you guys to pay for it and for it to sit here paid for. I don't like that. That makes me uncomfortable. Um, so I will probably do every other week. That way we have less packages and we can consolidate and combine shipping a little bit for you guys that way too. You know, Cindy, she lives in New York. Yeah. Was it stamped Hawaii? You mean, did it get stamped when it went to? I don't know. I didn't ask her that. But yeah, her package went from Indiana to Hawaii to New York. It was interesting. We couldn't quite figure that out. <laughs> oh my gosh. 
So, all righty, we'll look at this. See if you guys are interested in it. So this one is complete. And we, I, we did look at it once. And I think some of you Googled it and pulled it up a few places and went and checked out prices and things at a few of the, and just know the covers, you know, they're, they're just like a, um, like a nice construction paper. Um, but there's just a ton of plates in here. That's wow. all it is. Yeah. Isn't that cool? Mm -hmm. It's just tons of plates. And then I like the handwriting and nothing is bound. There's nothing to take apart. And then look at here, a drinking song. Anybody need that for New Year's Eve? Oh my gosh, that's amazing. <laughs> and then here's the Passionate Pilgrim. Then there's the plates for that. And we didn't find, um, there's no copyright in it. From all the things I've gone and looked at, it's circa 1900 is what I'm coming up with. Um, this is the song of poor Barbara. Poor Barbara. She does look like she's having a bad day. So, and then it just keeps going. So that's the first one. And then here's part two. And the, this is Othello. It's a color one. And then we go back to the plates and more plates. This is Kemble, not Kimble, but Kemble. So then this one is all, all plates. Wow. Yep. And I'm only doing like half of them in each. <clears throat> I'm really hoping this is a drawing of a statue because dude's got no eyeballs. <laughs> And more plates. This is um, a portrait of Shakespeare. Here's another color one. This is Hamlet. This is from the edition of his poems in 1640. So there are, I forget, 10 or 12. I think it's 12. Let me see. I think it's 12. Yes, 12 sections. Oh, yeah. that's crazy. Yep. And this is the only date that's on it. It's right there, 1900. So I don't know if that's print date, copyright date. I'm just not certain. So if you guys want to look at every little bit of it, we can. If you're okay with it that way, we can be good that way. Um is anybody interested in it whole or are you more interested in it separately? Because this one was in really bad shape, the cover. Um, so um, the plates are good and the pages are good. But since there's two and this cover is pretty beat up, like in, in pieces, the cover was, the front and back not attached. This one I went ahead and did individually. So you guys tell me if there's any interest, some interest, no interest, which you want. We'll see. Everybody left me. I'm here all by myself. No, I think it's got to be the lag. <laughs> Singles. I missed. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone seems to be drooling. <laughs> Singles. Or whole or single or whole. What? Becky. Yes, Becky, exactly. Single <laughs> or whole. Yep, you got it. <laughs> I think one should stay all together, Kim says. 
I kind of feel that way too. Mm. It's not very often I find two of something like this. So I was pretty excited. Um, so you guys want to do the single one first? We can do the single one first. And then um, that'll give you a really good idea of where I'd like to be for the whole one. And if anybody's interested, you can let us know. Um, let's do the, there's 12 of them. So, okay. yep, I'm going to do these. And I'm just, unless you guys are super fussy about it, because they all have plates and everything, um, I'm going to just do them from the top to the bottom. So there's 12, obviously. So I would just, you know, the first person gets one, the second person gets two, and so on and so on and so on. Um, I was going to do them for $5 a piece. Okay. And sticky notes for these. So they're going to be random. Well, yeah, right. except, yeah, in numerical order. Right. Okay. They're not really done like that, um, Nancy. I was looking for some way to make them super easy to identify, too, but they're just not really in here by play or story or whatever. I just think they're pretty cool. Okay. Ready? Yep. Kathy Berg. Oops, wrong Kathy. Becky would like two. Okay. Christina Hill. Okay. Sherry. For Pete's sake. Okay. Jody. put the paper in first and then say, okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, Crafty Michelle would like to, I forget her. Did she I give us the B? Okay. Oh, it's B. Yep. B okay. is a boy. Okay. And Christy M would like two, if you have two more. What is her last name? Meador. Um, Meador. Yep. M e a d o r. Yep. And two more. Okay. Kim would like one. And Kathy Behe. Nice. Thanks, ladies. Okay. So if anybody is interested in the whole one, I will do the whole one for $60 flat price if anybody wants it. I'll put that in there. Okay. See, schmutz, I tell you, schmutz. $60. Oh, thanks, Becky. Becky said to give one to me. Oh, nice. Very nice. Okay, that's sold to Jody. Awesome. Well done, Jody. 
You're going to love this. Okay. Alrighty, let me put a rubber band around this. Because I'm going to be super mad if I drop it and break the spine of it now. Very cool. Yeah, it is pretty cool. Okay, so there's that. Then, before everybody disappears, let's do this cover as a giveaway. Because I would okay. love to see somebody make a super cool journal out of this. So, um, well, I'll just do random generator mags for the number. Okay. Put it in, and I'll just get it pulled up. One to a hundred? Yep. One to a hundred, mm -hmm. one number each. Oh. Oh, yeah, you know the spiel. I'll be quiet. <laughs> <coughs> and closest without going over. <laughs> yeah, what may be said. <clears throat> what is this thing doing? And if you look and see if you have the same number as someone else, you can change your number. If there is two that with the same winning number, though, we'll go with whoever put it in first. If you don't change it, I think that covers everything. I think so. Oh my gosh, you guys, I am so excited about some of this stuff that came in. Oh, you're going to love it. It's railroad stuff. It's amazing, I have to say. Amazing. I'm still working on it. I almost caved in and brought some today, and I was like, nope, I'm waiting until I have more of it ready. It's pretty cool, though. Okay, I'm just waiting for Cindy Lou, who I think will put in a new yep. number. We're in no rush. There be. Okay, dear B, you putting in a new number? Oh, she's got a number there. Okay. All right, let's give it a few more seconds and I'll put in the stop. There are two 23s, okay. The second one would be Um, I only see one, Kim. Um, it's okay. Don't stress Rhonda. out over it too much. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe I didn't go up high enough. Okay, Rhonda Lee, you're the second one. So if you want to change yours. Christina Hill is second. Oh, I give up. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Rhonda Lee was the first one. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Christina Hill, would you like to change your number? Oh, she changed it already. Okay. Are we ready? Yeah, let me put in my stop. Oh, okay, Rhonda. Okay. Okay, ready? Ready. 85. 85. Okay, let's see. There's my go. Ooh, 
Ooh, Jennifer Jane, 85. Nice. Right on the nose. Right? Very nice. Okay. So I'm going to do another one. So don't go anywhere. Did anybody go anywhere? All right, that Jennifer's put together. Now we'll do fabric covers. I love those. I know, but we did these and these are the ones that are left. So. I must have missed those. Nah, you were here. I think I <laughs> um, and there's more coming. Oh my gosh. There's so oh, many. I know. I know. Oh, there's so many more coming. So I need to get some of these random strays gone so that I can start over. Okay. Um, so we're going to do three. Yep. So let's okay. do one to a hundred. Doesn't matter. There's three. There can be three people with the same number. It doesn't matter. We're just going to look for the first. You know what I mean? First person yeah. gets A, second person gets B, third person gets C. No, we're not going to do it by choice. It's just whoever, however, whatever order Maggie calls you in, you're going to get A, B, or C. Right. And Louise and Paula I'm, and Michelle, I'm sure, will be watching and helping get it in order also. So we'll be all good. Oh, and I, yeah, it's fine. Go ahead. <laughs> you're fine. Go ahead. Okay. It doesn't matter. <clears throat> All right, let me just give it a more seconds. Okay, I'm going to put the stop in because nobody has put a number in in a, in a minute. Bit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so here, you want me to wait a second or you want me to go ahead and do it? Oh, no, go ahead. Okay. 72. 72, okay. So it's all closest without going over? Yep. Three, okay. Seventy-two. I see yours, Kendall. It's okay. Okay, there was no seventy-two. Okay, are there any sixty? Sixty something. Okay, Janine Bernard has sixty-nine. Got it. Michelle Rowe has 67. Okay. And Lucy has 65. Um, do you see a Michelle, Crafty Michelle at 69? Oh. It's okay. Uh, let me see. Okay, I see a crafty Michelle with 59. Okay. Is it 59, Michelle? Well, she thinks it, she thought it was 69. So maybe okay. she meant Jody to put 69 in there. Yeah, Jody sees the same thing you did 69, 67. And I don't know who you said for 65. It's okay, Michelle. No worries. It happens. Lucy. Uh, I think Lucy. I said Lucy. Let me okay. double check though. Who is 65? Let's see. Because those are the same numbers Jody saw too. Yeah, Lucy. Yep. And that's why we never panic around here, you guys. Everybody helps. It's all good. Yep. It's no worries. And it's so easy to fix. <laughs> she was quick, right, Louise? <laughs> <laughs> 
super quick. All right, so that's who we're going with. Janine at 69, Michelle at 67, and Lucy, and Lucy. at 65, right? Yeah. Okay. So this one is Janine, and this one is Michelle R, and this one is Lucy. Cool. Very nice. Thanks, you guys. <laughs> she was hoping 42 would work out. <laughs> I know. I know. I'm going to pin these on here quick, though. So, um, debating. You guys want to stay? You get ready to go? What do you think? I do you have one other thing that might be fun? Okay, so I'm going to put... I'm all for fun. What? I'm all for fun. Listen to this one over here. As <laughs> long as it's fun. <laughs> so, do you guys remember when I said... I was purging. And I was purging from the sewing room... I was purging from scrapbooking supplies. I was purging from everywhere. I was purging from supplies I used to make, create, repair, whatever from the markets, the, you know, the live pop-up markets I would go to and set up at. Um, so, there are no less than 30 of these envelopes. Um, if you want one, they're $9. It's $8.40 to ship them, and the other just covers my fees. And $9 is a nice round number. So all you're paying for is the shipping. Um, I had told you guys I was going to do this, so... Here they are. And I have no idea what's in any of them because I just put all the stuff in tubs and Rosie packed them. <laughs> so I have no idea. It is literally absolutely random. So I put $9 purge bags. Yeah. Oh, that sounds so bad, but yeah, I like it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Glennis so, wants to know how much to Canada. Um, Glynis, if you want me to ship your separate, I can do that. Otherwise, you Canadian girls, I'll just add them to your packages. That way they just are part of the weight of your, of the box I would send you. You don't, for the Canadian international girls, you don't have to pay just for the envelope unless you want to. But I can combine it in your box. That's no big deal. So it would just be the $9 for you guys because then I can just add it in. Does that make sense? Mm-hmm. Yep. It would just basically be $9 toward the shipping of your box is what it's going to work out to be. Because I had given that thought. Can you tell? Yes, I can. That was very well thought out. I was like, how can I make this fair for everybody? And that was the only thing I could think of was I can put them in your guys' boxes for the $9. It's just $9 towards your shipping of your whole big box. Okay, this is going to take a minute. <laughs> wow. Yes, it will. Wow, I did not expect that. Holy Toledo, you guys. Okay, so I'm going to I'm just going to write your names right on these and then I'll clean these off the desk and I'll go get another arm load and we'll keep going. Okay. You ready? Yep. Gloria Okay. All right. Lucy D. I'm sorry, what? Lucy D. Lucy. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited I couldn't even spell Lucy. Okay. Nancy V. Okay. M S. Okay. Judy G. Okay. 
Okay. Kathy B. Okay. Sherry would like two. Okay, one more and then I got to reload. Okay, um, Deb Artsology, she, she wants two, but she says I have no other box. Is she in Canada? She is. Okay, so Deb wants two and she was after Sherry, right? Yes. Okay. So, Deb, I'll figure out what um, is the best shipping. I'll get a good shipping thing. Or we can start a box for you, too, whichever. We can get a box going for you or um, we'll figure it out. At the very least, it would probably be, so I think these individually, I think these are like 26 or 27 a piece to Canada. Um, if I combine them, I can probably get it cheaper. That was a whole lot of talking just to say that, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Listen to her. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Deb P. All right, I got Deb for two. Okay. Kathleen W. Got it. Christina Hill. Beth K. Okay. And Eileen L. You want to put those away, right, and get more? Oh, I'm just making a big pile on the floor. And then oh, okay. And then um, listen to this right, one. Linus. Listen. What? Is that a bell? <laughs> yeah, it sounds like jingle bells in there. <laughs> I'm not, I don't remember having bells though, so I'm like, what is that? But whatever. So Glennis, I bet it isn't bells though. Probably not. You said Glennis? Yes. Okay. Kendall. G -G -H. I'm sorry, what? G G H. Oh, okay. One more, and then I gotta reload. Okay, Karen Thompson. Hey, Karen. Okay, so it was GG then Karen, right? I didn't miss anybody. Yes. Okay. Nope, we didn't miss anybody. Okay, going for more. Okay. Oh my God, my post office lady's gonna hate me when these go out. <laughs> it'll be fun. I have a cool Christmas present for her, though, so it'll be okay. Okay, after Karen? Uh, Crafty Michelle, because I forget her last name. Michelle. Okay. Michelle. B. B. Okay. Okay. Tina. Got it. Christy M. would like to. Wow, she really packed those, huh? Yes, she did. She's like, how full do I fill them? I said, just until the tape won't stick. <laughs> <laughs> I said, look at it this way. The fuller they are, the less bags you got to fill. She went, ah, gotcha. <laughs> okay. Louise. Got it. Shelby. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to take a picture of this. This is hilarious, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> I'll put it in the group for you guys. Okay. One guy online. I have no idea who that is. So one guy online. I'm going to need an email at the email address over 
there. Um, and I need your YouTube name, your real name, a zip code, and I invoice through Square. So I will send your invoice for this package to the email you use to contact me. And I'm just going to put one guy. If I Harris can Leisure. What? Harris Leisure. Is the next person? No, that's who one guy online just said Paris Leisure. Gotcha. Okay, now, Becky, these are the purge envelopes, and you're just paying for the $9 shipping. for shipping. And Don, no, it's just the $9 total. That's the shipping and, um, and fees. Michelle Rowe would like to. Dear B. Dear B. So after Michelle Rowe was Dear B? Yes. You got two, right, from Michelle? Yep. Okay. This really does look like a bad Christmas delivery over here. Those three, that's it. You guys are awesome. That's only, you only have three left? Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, did I give you Dear B? Yep. Okay. Uh, Renee Jensen. Did Becky want one? Um, yes. And she, well, Melanie and then Becky's the last one. Okay. I mean, after uh, Melanie, okay. so. Okay, got it. Perfect. You guys are absolutely awesome. That was every one of them. Holy cow. <laughs> this is so cool. Wait. Wait, just wait for it. I'm going to take a picture and show you guys. Hold on. <laughs> You're going to discover just how easy I am to, just how really easy it is to amuse me. Yeah, Kendall, I got you. They were 30, Kathy, and they are all gone. Just so that's you guys know, that's okay, Maggie. The people that aren't sure if they got one, as um, soon as I show them this picture, I'll write down a list because I did hold some stuff back. We can put together a few more if we need them. Okay. Yeah. There were a couple more that wanted them. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. That's hilarious. That's awesome. Okay. So I'm going to write that list over here. So Kendall, I heard you say. No, Kendall asked if I saw her and I she got one. Okay, I'm going to just put a question mark by it to make sure she got okay. one. Okay. okay. Um, all right, now let's see. Okay, so... Um, so if you want one and you didn't get one, you can put your name in now and she'll make a list. Because Kathy Berg said she walked away. Um, Kathy B, he wanted another one. Jody had wanted one. Uh, Michelle H wanted one. Rhonda Lee wanted one. Don M wanted one. Hi, Tori. Tori Alexander wanted one. Hey, Tori. It's two R's, two E's, right? Yes. 
Does Square accept PayPal? Judy wanted to know. I don't know if it does yet, but I know they're working on it. It's going to. Okay, I got Jody, Michelle. Um, Maggie, I missed the first name you said. I don't know if I can scroll that far up, Louise. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Penny, did you want one? She said I missed it. She was on the on the phone with her brother. If things uh, are that oh, popular, Dennis wanted a second one. If you have, I'll fill the first ones for people first, you guys, and then um. No, that's okay, Melanie. She's going to make more. Yeah, I'm making more. No worries. Eileen said, this is insane. <laughs> it's fun, though, right? It's so much. And it you is guys, fun. You have to understand. Well, you don't have to, but I would like you to. A lot of times, like, like all the stamps that I did tonight, there's so much stuff that comes with it sometimes. Like, I have to buy the whole lot to get what I really want. So then it's like, what am I going to do with this other stuff? I don't want to just throw it away, but there's not enough of it or it's not, you know what I mean? It's just like, it's easier to just put it in these packs and just send it out to you guys. Just put it out in the world, have fun with it. <laughs> you know what I mean? So it's just, I don't know. It just, it seems to work and it always works out for all of us. So all right. Could you put Lynn J with a question mark? Because I sure. thought I said her name, but now I'm not so sure. But she I has feel like you did too. I yeah. Feel, yeah. Right. I That's feel why. Like yeah. Put a question mark. Yep. I got question marks by her and Kendall because we weren't sure if we got them. Okay. And then, and then I I think I wrote down. I feel like I wrote down Dawn. So I'm going to put a question mark and I put one in parentheses because I know she really only wants one. And then Glennis and Kathy B. Yeah, Kathy Glennis B. wanted the second one. Yeah, I put second by them. Okay. And Linda Carruthers wanted one. Okay. And Penny Pudge. Deb can't wait to see what's in them. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, Paris just, sent go ahead, what Megs? Your information, Paris, the one guy online. Okay, he sent it. Yep. Oh, cool. That's what Thank, he you. Said. Thank you very I much. Don't, I don't have Lynn um, Jerry. And by oh, all right. well, she's got her now, Louise. Okay. And by just charging the shipping, then I don't have any anxiety about people like only liking half of what they got or whatever, you know? So it works because <laughs> then I don't feel like, oh my God, what if they don't like it? What if they're all unhappy? You know? So it just keeps it fun for everybody. I think. Okay, cool. So that makes us good. Yep. All right. Michelle's busting my. <laughs> Is she? Get her, Michelle. Get her. Maggie said, question mark. <laughs> question mark. <laughs> I love it. Oh my gosh. Rosie's going to die when she comes in here tomorrow and sees that they're all gone. Right. So. And Michelle, just so you know, after we get off live, I'm going to have some popcorn. Yeah. Popcorn. Hey, Carla V. How are you? Hi, Carla. Yeah. She's having popcorn with her question mark. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh. Jody says you should do this a couple times a year <laughs> to clear out the stuff you don't need. <laughs> I think I'm going to that. This is the second time that I second or third time that I've done this since I started. And yep. it's always fun. Um, and it just, it feels good to purge. It feels good to know that it's going someplace productive. Um, I don't know. It's just, it's, it's fun. It's fun from my end. I hope it's fun for you guys. Um, so I'm just putting these out here to be pretty, you guys. Um, I think we're done for the night, but I will put these out here to be pretty. Um, look at this one. That cool cover. Ooh, that's pretty. Yeah, that's a pretty cool cover. I like it. Um, so yeah, I don't know what, what do you guys think? You guys want to do New Year's Eve? Well, yeah. 
Listen to Mags. Well, yeah. Because, you know, Thursday is New Year's Eve. Do we want to gather? Do we want to shop? Do we want to craft? What do y'all want to do? What y'all want to do? Listen to Lisa. (laughs) (laughs) I'm still crafting. You could turn on your... Lisa, when we yeah, leave here, turn on your live. live. Yeah, what Maggie said, turn on yours. We'll go to your house. <clears throat> so I'm seeing hang out and shop. We could do both then. Oh, it's okay. Melanie's birthday. Whose birthday? Melanie. Oh, nice. Bring cake for everybody, girl. Yep. Everybody. Shop and craft, LOL. There you go. Oh, that's Colleen. Hi, Colleen. Hey, Colleen. Um. That sounds good. Shop first, then craft. Hey, we could shop for a while and maybe we could talk to like that Lori and Maggie girl and see if we could go to their house after or, you, you know, could. somebody think about it. If you we know, could go to my house, Lori yep. and I going on Wednesday, we could go to mine Thursday. There you go. We'll see. We'll get it figured out for you guys. We'll keep you entertained, though. We'll shop here, then craft at my place. There you go. Then I can run amok in the chat. (laughs) Or you can come on and craft. I could. I could. But running amok in the chat is kind of fun, too. I don't get in as much trouble that way. Tuesday is left out. Lori, I'll be here maybe drinking. (laughs) (laughs) You can you could do that while live. We'll only we we will only snicker. We won't laugh out loud. We'll just snicker. How's that? Right. Because I guarantee you, this girl's having a mimosa or two. I love. Nice. I do. I love mimosas. I really do. I like them too. Yeah. Yeah. I Otherwise, I have like, in my cabinet. Yeah, you know, like even I don't know. I think the whole, I'm, I'm a vodka girl. Always have been. Of course, now it doesn't take very many, one or two. And I'm like, what? <laughs> I don't drink anymore. So it just doesn't take much. Um, but yeah. So oh, I was, Glennis. I was a screwdriver girl or pineapple she, juice. Glennis pineapple. is having hers with mango juice. Nice. Nice. I used to be a kamikaze girl. Ooh, I get in trouble with those. Oh my gosh. No, Chilled. No. I loved those. No, I get in trouble. 10 foot tall oh. and bulletproof. Yep. You guys would probably never think that about me, right? Too much alcohol that I would get a little feisty. <clears throat> <laughs> Just saying. What time are we talking? Kim wants to know. I don't know. I have no idea yet. Um, Only because we have to take our son to the airport. And I don't know if he's going back Wednesday and staying with our daughter and they're taking him to the airport. I don't know if we're taking him. I don't know if him and Jim are going to go and just spend a few hours together before that. I'm just not sure. So I can't commit to anything yet. I'm just not sure. So just watch in the group or I'll post it, you know, with some advance notice, but sometime on, because we don't go out and do anything and he leaves early afternoon. So, you know, well, I'll be here. I'm just not positive when, because I'm not going to sit here and be all mopey Joe because he left again. You know what I mean? So it'll keep me distracted too. Yep. So. It's as much for me as for you guys. <laughs> Lucy likes almost anything. That a girl. <laughs> you guys like that? I cannot drink anything I don't like. Like, you know how some people either. get drunk? I was, ugh, no thank you. If I don't like it, I'm not drinking it. Mm-mm. Nope. <laughs> you guys are funny. Oh, Bailey's is way too sweet. Mm-mm. Yeah, I don't care for Bailey's either. I like Bailey's as like a sipper, but like to like 
like the like Bailey's and cream on ice and no I just want a little just a shot glass of that and I can just sip on that thing for a long time oh Long Island iced teas anybody Ooh, who's ever, those are good too anybody who's drank Long Island iced teas has a good story <laughs> Yeah. One way or another, there's a good story. But they got to be made right, because if they're not made right, they're awful. Ugh. Coconut yes, rum and pineapple, pineapple is good. Yes, ma'am. Yep. Yep. I don't care for those either, Glennis. <laughs> Yeah, some people just can't. Or a story they can't share exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Guess who's been there, done that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, my gosh. One of our daughters, oh, see, Lucy, you just said it. I was just going to say, one of our daughters likes gin. I cannot deal with gin. No, I, like I, don't. All of I it. like vodka, but I don't, I can't stand oh. gin. I feel like I might as well drink perfume. I'm just, it's just disgusting. And it's all she drinks. I'm just like gross. No. Oh, Kahlua and butterscotch schnapps. That's really good. It does sound good. It's I love really schnapps. Good. Yeah, it's really good. Oh, the kids and I, they love sangria, right? So I made um, a few pictures of sangria for them for um the holiday weekend we we there was one it was like adult kool-aid it was really it could be hit hazardous <laughs> oh i love sambuca over ice oh, no so good because you don't like licorice you don't like black licorice that's correct what. disgusting no nope Awful. Sandra, I have a hurricane story to rival any Long Island tea <laughs> story. New Orleans will kill you. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, their hurricane drinks are, yeah, they'll set you back on your heels for sure. See, and I don't like whiskey. I don't like any of no, that. No, I don't care for whiskey. I don't uh -huh. like whiskey either. Nope. Nope. I have discovered I'm almost as fussy about alcohol as I am food. Mm -hmm. Like lemon drop shots, those are my favorite, but I only want them made a certain way. And of course, that's my way. <laughs> I won't drink them if they mix the sugar in them and all that. Jet. No, that's not the way I want it. Red wine. The last thing I had, which was a long time ago, was coffee tequila. That's good stuff, isn't it? Yeah, we yeah we did. Rebecca's mom and I did. That's one thing. Yeah, keep it in the freezer. Put it in the freezer before you drink it next time. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. Oh, thanks, Michelle. I don't like it warm. I like it when it's cold. Oh, thanks, Michelle. That was nice. You guys are funny. Been there, done that, New Orleans. Right? See, I've never, I've driven through, but we've never, like, stopped. So that's one of our, like, bucket list places. I told him I'd like to go before I'm too old to remember. <laughs> <laughs> it's not fair taking somebody someplace like that, and then you can't even remember you've been there. Moonshine is a game changer, Becky. Well, that's like drinking like gasoline, isn't it? No, not if it's made right. Oh my gosh, there's some moonshine that is so smooth. Holy, right, Beth? Beth, are you here? Oh my goodness. Yeah, and we know Rhonda Lee likes her dirty vodka martinis. Yep. Nothing wrong with that. Nope. Either way, you may not remember. Well, you know, I'd like it to not be because of my age. I mean, I'm just saying. <laughs> Apple pie moonshine. Moscow mules. 
I haven't had either. I've never tried either one of those. The apple pie moonshine is pretty good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Apple pie or uh, apple apple pie, pie moonshine. moonshine. Apple pie moonshine is good. Hmm. Yeah, they get a pretty when you get a certain like distance south, the moonshine game changes. It's totally different than what we get. Yes or no, you guys, right? What we get up here is totally different than what you guys get. They get the real deal. We get like manufactured stuff. Yeah, I remember one time my brother-in-law got moonshine and he said it was like lighter fluid. <laughs> <laughs> it can be. <laughs> it can be. I he tasted... almost fell into the fire pit. <laughs> yep. What's really interesting is when it's your birthday and you go to work and you think you're working. So you walk behind the bar and the owner says, oh, no, it's your birthday. I'm <laughs> I'm taking care of your drink tonight and you're just having a good time. And at the time I drank Long Island iced teas. So he made me one. It took me over an hour to drink the first one. Cause I'm pretty sure it was very similar to what jet fuel tasted like. Um, well, doesn't it have like five different. Yes. And yeah. Yeah, by the time I was halfway through the first one, I don't remember the rest of the evening. That's that's all I got. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm pretty sure I invented alcohol poisoning that evening. It was pretty awful. Pretty, pretty awful. To this day, tequila is not my friend. <laughs> Everclear. What is Everclear? Oh my gosh. Everclear is what you put on the, you float it on the top of a drink if you want to light it on fire. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's what Everclear is. <laughs> ah. Yeah, the real stuff is, yeah, it is. <clears throat> yes, it is. Exactly, Beth. See, she knows. The moonshine depends, yeah, on, it depends who on who makes it. it. Yep. Yep. <laughs> okay, you guys. Well, I think we established that we all like alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> I was just going to say that. So everybody bring your beverage of choice whatever time we decide to come on, and we'll compare notes. <clears throat> I wish we could all do like samples taste samples <laughs> yeah i've had that becky so yeah just to soak fruits yeah sure can be and goldschlager oh my gosh i have oh my gosh <clears throat> yeah there's a tale about some goldschlager one night good night paula good night paula <laughs> Oh my goodness. All right. Yep. I guess it's time. All right. You guys all, so <laughs> I was dared to do this. Okay. <laughs> you guys all hang up and then we'll hang up. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. I was going to save it till New Year's Eve and I knew I just couldn't. <laughs> Like I can't. I have to do it now. <laughs> I was just gonna say that, but the number just went up instead. I know. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, good night, everyone. Good night, you guys. See you Thursday. Wednesday, then Thursday. Yeah, Wednesday at, at your house, right? No, at uh oh. Lori's. Okay, Wednesday at Lori's. And then Thursday here, and then we don't know where. Yeah. We'll see where we wind up. Okay. It'll be a, it. It'll be a surprise. I was just gonna say it'll be a crawl. It'll be a crawl, like at the bar. You know, when you, yeah. when you go from bar to bar to bar, and they call it a crawl. We'll have a crawl. Yep. There you go. All right. Good night, you guys. I really mm -hmm. am gonna hang up. Good night, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs>